Goliath! 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 No one's watching us. <laughs> somebody on YouTube? We do? We have know. nobody watching us right now. Oh. Hello, people! Hello. If there's anybody there. Oh my what god! The hell? Shadow, Shadow Crown, Crown is hosting, hosting us with one, one viewer. viewer. Hello, Zara Soon. Welcome to another D20 Live craft check. You sure about that? I'm here sometimes. <laughs> sure about that? It was saying zero. So, uh, welcome to another D20 Live chat. Uh, craft check. It is September. Right? It is September. It just started being September. Yes. I have been here for an hour. Thank you very much. I am so sorry, chat. Peace. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Rusty. And Rusty's being the most diligent of all. So, top of it. Announcements. First off, next week. I'm everywhere and nowhere. Hang on, let me double check about volume. Double checking about volume? I'm double checking about volume. Alright. Law. <laughs> we may not be the most famous show on YouTube, but we got the most heart, don't we? Is this 14 days until my birthday in the May game. Hello, you magnificent bastards. Where can I read Big Mike's setting book? Lord Sathian, my setting book is currently in a Word document on my tablet right now. L louder or, sh or quieter? Yeah, sorry, louder or quieter. And then I'll do announcements. L louder or quieter? <laughs> it's just your face. It's that, you found me. <laughs> Sounds good? Okay. All right, cool. So you get your butt back here. I'm coming. I'll do the announcements, and I'm I guess coming. I'll get started crafting what I'm crafting today. I'm coming. Or however long that takes me, which might not be that long, or it might be very long, or you might see me destroy <laughs> three hundred, <laughs> three four hundred dollars of plastic as Sam dies. Car, you okay? I don't know what I did. <laughs> you are having fun. You were having fun because it doesn't matter. Welcome everyone. Wow, a lot of people are coming out. This is great. I like this. God damn it, Sam. <laughs> this is nice. This is nice. This is you see, you were doing what I was doing earlier today. Yeah. Because, uh, should I even tell that story? Sure, why not? Okay, it's funny. so, um, you're going to learn more about me personally. I have this shirt that I'm wearing goes very long on my body, all the way down to around my <laughs> mid hips. So I decided to push it down all the way before I put my shorts on today and run around going, <laughs> like I'm this weird freak, freakish little man. I can't even recall the voice I was doing. <laughs> Stop, stop. Hello, everyone. I'm here for you. Women. It was just this uh, thing. So it was a glorious Rova filled weekend. First one on the YouTubes, it seems. Yeah. Jack and May Names is there. Checking in back to start the month for a week. Next week, I'm away for a friend's event, but we'll also be back for Made RPG on September 5th. That's right. Let's do announcements. First off, week before stream will be happening September 8th, and this one will be a crossover stream for not only will Jordan be helping me, he and I will be stranding Dr. Tarawatt. Space engineers. <laughs> what the fuck, Mike? I don't know, man. I'm a weird guy. If you have been, you guys, some of you have been here now for three, four years. You know, I'm a weird guy. So, but yeah, no. Uh, the reason why I'm not going to be doing cra the the week before stream this month is because even though I said I was, I currently am working a temp job, so I need to go to bed early. Yeah, you need to go home. <laughs> is that Dave? Uh, is it Dave? Is it Dave? Is it Dave? It's Dave! <laughs> uh, second announcement, of course, on September 15th at 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, we will be streaming Made. I'll be playing. Dave will be playing. I will be playing. I'll be GMing. Sam will be GMing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are weird, Mike, and that's why we like you so much. Thank you so much, Rusty. Uh, on top of that, the last episode of L5R, which will be the debrief episode, will be airing for patrons on the 21st. And then we'll be... Right, no, no, I'm going to swap with you, dude. Because oh, okay. you, you're doing actual painting, and I'm just doing repair work. And... Uh, Dave. Yeah, and uh, it will go for public on the twenty eighth. Uh, the audio. So also for patrons tonight. Hey everybody. Uh, I wear the uniform. Yay! Oh, so, What's my goddamn life? For patrons tonight, L five R episode seven will be going live. Hell yeah! Sorry. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Six went out last time. Yeah. Yes. L five R episode seven will be going live for patrons. No, no, it's not L five R. It's Bravo. <gasps> right. Bravo's Bravo panel footage. footage. Bravo will be going footage. live. Tonight after the stream, we'll be going on Patreon for patrons at the $5 tier or higher. Yes. It's not L5R. L5R episode 7 is out. <laughs> We're it's done with that one. We're done. Uh, episode 8 will be coming out next month. 
Um, well, the big debrief is coming out next month. Yeah, but that'll be the debrief where we all talk about everything that happened. Yeah. Uh, the um, the, the audio. Footage. The audio as well. Yes, the audio uh, as well will come out. Yep, yeah, and I gotta pull that before we go because mm-hmm. the only thing left I have to pull is Bravo itself. Yes. Uh, which should take me about five seconds to do. The panel footage is done, so that'll be going up for patrons tonight. Yeah, that'll be going up tonight before we go. Uh, Sorry, Mike, guys. No worries, okay. man. So, um, that's all of the announcements. Yes. Mm. That was a lot. Yes. Mm. Qua. Yes. Mm. I finally, I finally, for the first time, did the announcements at the start of the goddamn stream. Like, we were, we planned to when we finally stopped doing announcement videos. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, as Dave <laughs> snacks up. So, Dave, what are you working on today? I'm working on some uh, Tau uh, mini, mini, uh, miniatures uh, for 40k for uh, for Kill Team. Uh, we're going to try and get going with uh, myself, Devin, and uh, uh, Jordan. Mm-hmm. Cause you guys wanted to start doing a... Yeah, like a semi-regular uh, game. Uh, i got to learn it and buy the book. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm working on a Tau army because the greater good... Yeah. You Great or good. ignorant savages. Uh, uh, not you. Everyone else in the 40k universe. Also, by the way, Devin's <laughs> coming. So oh, cool. that's what the message was on all our phones going. So Xenos. Yeah. He's coming. Uh, Devin's working on an Eldar army, I believe. He and, might be, yeah. uh, Jordan's working on a uh, 40k marine yep. army with some Primar- Primaris Reavers, which is going to be flipping cool. Yep. We gotta schedule that and plan that and see how that works out for you guys. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But we're gonna try. But uh, yeah, um, I'm late too due to working and moving. I'm being AFK a lot. Do that. So John's just repeating everything. But yeah, no. So the only thing I have left to do today before we go is pull the audio from Com Bravo, which should take me about five minutes. And because hmm. we're gonna be on vacation. For a day. For a day, because we're heading up to, we're heading north. Because tomorrow is Labor Day, day so we're... you're just not going to hear anything from us. Not that, you know... <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go radio silent for a little while, yeah. so... You know, they Lots. say, uh... Keep the chat on fire. <laughs> you know, they say don't wear white after Labor Day, but I've got a white car. Uh, does that wear... We're not wearing, 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 wearing it. We're not taking off the siding. Is it power armor? It's not power armor. It's an exoskeleton. It's not an exoskeleton. It's just a vehicle. <laughs> They're very, uh, something like that. D20 uh, vacations. Yeah, so someone was asking where Actually, the... a lot of the D20 crew is going up for a vacation. Yeah, we're all taking it. <laughs> we're all just going. Um, oh, my God. Which we're due. I, I don't think it would hurt to tell them who's going, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well it's... for this, for our purposes of who we're going, we're going, it's the three of us, and Dom and Beth are coming yeah. with us. Should I bring a smash? Should I bring a switch? Uh, sure. Uh-huh. Oh, I forgot book games. Whatever. What? I, I was going to bring a board game. I'm, I was going to bring up Risk if everyone's okay with that. Oh, boy. We're not, we're not sleeping tonight, guys. Well, no, it's 2210. <laughs> it's the fun one. Oh, it, it, yeah, it has a term limit. Ter- yeah. Turn limit. I was not term following the Twitters. Why not share your thoughts on Blue Bits, Bride? <laughs> <laughs> Someone saw your power rant, Sam. Yeah, really. Okay, so a Dave, I'm going to explain can. this. Do you um, want to switch spots to get us into the... Uh, into yeah, because uh, if you're I, painting, I you should be on the carpet. I can well, move. Uh, I'm going to be building. Oh, well, then, well, wherever you like. It'll, same. I don't want to glue myself to your nice carpet. Carpet. Your so, disposable carpet. Here we go. Because I'm, I'm okay. doing a little bit of gluing today, but it should all be relatively contained. There. So, we don't someone have a brand sound... deal. Ignore all brands. Someone <laughs> asked the, the question. <laughs> well, let me answer my question first. Yeah. Which yeah. was... Uh, Mike, where can I get access to the D20 Live setting notes for Angoria? Oh. And the answer is they're currently, there's only like 40 pages of it, so not enough that I would justify like putting out there. When I get to like a soft hundred, if fans would like to take a look at it, I, because, I don't know, it's so very near and dear to my heart. Although I love what we did to the drow. Yeah. I love what we did to the drow. We can't tell you. We can't tell you because it's so good. But the, I've made the drought. We made the we with your help. I could have done it without you. <laughs> made the drought scary. Hey, but anyway, I'm uh, in working position. Yeah, Geki's been playing uh, Persona 2Q. He's been trying to get your opinion on that. Oh, scene. I'm sorry. I haven't gotten to playing it yet because I haven't gotten it yet. Because it's a bur- it's a it's a, it's a birthday oh, anniversary Mike's, gift. It? Yeah, it's yeah. my here. Okay, I said that way. Yeah. So I'm gonna be sitting down here and doing my maintenance work here. Dave will be doing the major assembly stuff. Sam, tell them why you dislike Bluebeard's Bride, even though I only showed you like three pages of it. Explain what Bluebeard's Bride is, though. Okay, so Bluebeard's Bride is a nigh universally beloved and a war award-winning, massively award-winning tabletop RPG right now. Hmm. 
Um, people are streaming it left, right, and center. There we go. And it's gotten massive hype. All right. I fucking hate it <laughs> so much with every fiber of my being. Because despite how well designed it is, and it is well designed by an all female group of developers, which of course is a great thing in this industry, um, it's a pile of shit. Oh, <laughs> it's such a pile of shit. And it's. Don't pull it's, no punches now. It's a well engineered pile of shit. What's this going on top of my bag? Sure. That's my charger. It's a well engineered. It's incredibly well engineered, but here's the premise. So if you're familiar with the story of Bluebeard, it's... Um, the story of Bluebeard is uh, a woman marries a, one of this handsome, exotic stranger from the middle of a... Uh, who's, who comes in, sweeps her off her feet, takes from her family, all that jazz. Uh, he gives her a key ring uh, with every key to his house, and he says, Never open the door that is on this key. Uh, that this key, this one key here corresponds to. Of course, one night the woman does so, and... Curiosity, cats, you know. Yeah, all that stuff, because it's like, why, because like any sane person, huh, I should know my husband's deepest, darkest secret, I'm going to be here for a while. You know, because, hmm. you know... Reasons. <laughs> Reasons. <laughs> um, my tools. And, sure enough, he's murdered every wife he's ever had. Ack. Up to her. So, he... Finds out that she looked and kills her. Oh. There's a there's a bunch of different interpretations and reinterpretations of this story. Uh, because of the fact that some people reinterpret it as be careful of the exotic stranger who is too good to be true. Some people I some people have said the original myth is women mind your goddamn business. Hope he, right? it's, just, it's like it's like ignore the exotic stranger who who seems too good to be true. That is you though. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't foreign. I was local. <laughs> But, long story short, Bluebeard's the, clearly the villain of the story. Blast. Um, someone made a game about that story, right? you think that'd be really cool. But Sam, would you like to take it from here about the roles in Bluebeard? Because I know you have a way better power in than I ever will, as a woman. So, basically... If I start ranting about it, it doesn't hold because I'm a guy. Basically, the, the only game that I can actually equate this, this system to is Everyone is John. No, and no. everyone is John is basically you are all part of one singular person named John and you are all different aspects of him. You can basically if everyone is John you can make up which aspect it is but basically you're a different type of person that, like because you know how everybody has the different faces and personalities that they put themselves on basically persona right? But it's one of the those... The original term, not the game. Exactly. Right? So it's one of those, like, you you are the different faces of this person, right? And you have to get through the daily, like, the daily life of this person while also achieving a goal of some kind that day. Now, this is basically very similar to Everyone is John. And there's nothing wrong with Everyone is John, except for the fact that in this one, it, they give you... Uh, only five different personality types that you can be. You're There's, all called sisters, by the way. Yeah, you're all called sisters. Not personas. Sisters, which is weird. Uh, sister wives. Right, exactly. That's what it, <laughs> That's what I initially thought it was. It's like, oh, you're all the, the wives of Bluebeard, Bluebeard. And that makes a lot of sense because, of course, you would have multiple wives. Right? But no, it's you're all one person. Which, again, could have been cool. Which, again, could have been if cool. If you shahrazad it. Right. But instead, now you're like five different personality types. You're the virgin, which is... Gasp. Okay, the virgin, the, the, the wife... Witch, the The virgin, the wife, the, the witch, mother, the mother, and the shield. The, no, the animus. The, the anima. animus. The anima. Well, that's what she's called, the shield, but it's the no, animus. No, the, the shield is one of... Because you can... Each of these five different character roles... Uh... Didn't Blue Raspberry right? win a bunch of awards and get lots of progressive praise? Yes, it did. We're going to tear that apart We're right gonna now. We're going to tear it apart right now. Yeah. Um, Sorry, everybody. Say, honey, you did that again. Don't finish the thought and Sorry. then answer the question. But you're you're one of these one of these five different roles, and you choose one power from those five different roles. Yeah. Now, you have three stats, one of which for each role is by default the plus one stat for that role. The other two stats are at a zero or a negative one. So you're not very powerful. So, the thing is, is that in order to play these different personality types, you have to basically screw each other over. Just a tiny bit. Right? And 
If you look at it, okay, because basically what you have to do is like you in what when you're going through the entire mansion, because of course you're going through the entire mansion to find evidence against your husband being an asshole. When you're going through the entire dun you're going through the entire mansion trying to figure out evidence stuff, you gain traumas because of the fact it's like it, it's one of those things of like, oh, you accidentally slammed the door on your own hand. Or oh, you saw like, something that unnerved you. Or Kermit you saw something that unnerved you, right? Now, one of the things that I've realized that you can do is you can undo the traumas, but in order to do so, you have to rationalize it away, and you have to convince the other player that that's the reason why that happened. So, yeah. no, the fatal, the fatal was one of them. So it's the fatal. The fatal is one of them. I can bring up. The, I have the. I have the PDF. So it's the fatal, the virgin, the witch, the animus, and something else. I can't. Yeah. And it's the mother. Right. So basically what happens is that like if you if you one of the things that the animus has is called the shield. Basically what she can do is she can remove a trauma from one of the other players, but she has to convince them that's the reason why it is. So if a trauma happens where you accidentally slammed your do slammed your hand into your own like you slammed your hand uh in, in a doorway, right? Basically what happens is you can you like the animus has to say Oh, you're always, we're always such a clumsy bitch. Why do you keep doing this to yourself? Right? And and that's the reason why we slam the door in our hand, right? It's like you're, it's like, and it's like, you're, it's like, the, the example that it gives is, you're so, you're always so clumsy, because she's saying this to the fatal, you're always so clumsy because you're never paying attention to anything else other than the fact that you're trying to always be sexy. At which point the fatal goes, oh my god, what the hell, right? And then she goes, do you believe me? And then, of course, the fatal nods her head, because that's how you get rid of points, right? So it's just, it's a bunch of fucking abuse to everybody, where it's just like, why would you do this? Right? And even if you take, if you take out the role-playing aspect out of it, right? So, like, let's say, like... Which it's a pure role-playing game. Which it's a pure role-playing game. So the entire thing is that you're talking to your other players like this, right? If you take this out, if you take it out of a role-playing situation, and you're, 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 you're imagining this as there's one woman who's constantly, be be like, berating herself for doing stupid shit. That's called an abuse victim. And I don't want to be playing that. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Jack. It sounds like an abusive relationship, right? So, and then the, there's only three outcomes of the entire thing. One, <laughs> you find out that he is an he's an abusive asshole who kills all his wives, and you go to you go into town and you prove that he's that he's an, he's a dickhole, right? Yeah. Two, you. By the way, having enough proof to prove he's a dickhole is not part of the game. Yeah. It's just one of the three outcomes. It's one of the three outcomes. You don't like. You might not find enough proof at all. At which point. You but get that's the, the storyteller's decision. I know it's the storyteller's decision on whether or not you find enough fucking proof, that's pretty right? Solid. So that works. The second thing is you find enough proof that he's actually not a dickhole husband, and he kills you, right? Okay, well, there's there's three. He kill. Hang on, he sure. kills you because you went around and snooped around his own his house, right, yeah. right? Three is you become absolutely fucking insane, and you decide that you want more of him. And then he kills you for being a fucking needy bitch. So, in two of these outcomes, you die. And in the third outcome, you have to have enough fucking proof in order to prove I that, he's, death. that he's actually an asshole. Right? And it takes so fucking long. And you're just sitting there going, why the hell would you ever want to sit in a room with five people who are trying to also undermine anything that you do in hopes that maybe it'll show that there's enough proof... Right, and some of the things that you find might not actually be proof. You have to like you, you like you you can argue it within the players. Be like, oh yeah, it's totally proof. And then the GM at that point can be like, it's not proof, guys. Right, at the end of the game, there's no fucking point, right? Because you're sitting there for five hours arguing with five different players, right, on whether or not that the thing that you found might actually be proof. And then it turns out at the end you die anyway. Also, fun fact: you're not like a a nuanced woman or anything like that. No, no. You're a stereotypical... Like, like 15th century tree, woman. Wilting flower woman, right? It's not like each of the archetypes that you... The personas you have are dis different aspects of your past and how each of them have made you a better character. There's not even an option to fight Bluebeard. Yeah. Like, or like, run I, away. I, I get that being like maybe the hardest possible thing. Hey, Is Devin. that Devin? Yes. Hello, Devin. Devin. We're ranting about Bluebeard's bride. Okay. It's just, 
Ah! It makes me frustrated. I am trying to do repairs on my Megazord. Oh, I should switch it over to the table yeah. so that way Dave can show his off his stuff. His Zegamord. How are you doing, Devin? Not bad yourself. Good. There we go. Huh. So do you feel cleansed, Sam? Yes. Cleansed? Mm. Why cleansed? Because it's such a frustrating game. Mm. Cause it's like it's like it's like everyone is John except you play an abused victim who's trying to escape. S- is not even escape. Self abuse herself to prove that either her husband's a dick or he's a good guy. <laughs> and I'm Intriguing. like, there's there's no point to this game. Uh, they are asking how you are, Devin, as well as if you saw the chainsaw that was being designed for you. No, I haven't actually. Is that up on Discord? It's I up on the Discord. Yet. Oh my. Meg, I have a present for you to look through. What's this? Oh, that nice! Is the new Shadowrun 6th World Beginner Box. Nice. Okay. Like, the problem is, too, his castle is legitimate. I was going to put this away because I don't want to get any glue on it right Yeah, 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 no worries. He, his castle is by far the... His, man, his manor is the most interesting thing. Yeah, it's more personality than anyone it's else. It's not progressive. It's abusive. It infuriates me so fucking much. Oh, so Rusty, you're familiar with it, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I think from just my description alone. But yeah, it's like, do you, fuck of this course, life. as always, we at D20 Live recommend you go and make your own opinion about things. Because, you know, diversity of opinion. But it's not. Shuttercorn, what design? Like, there's that. I saw the, the picture a while back. How do I get. But I'm not sure, that? like, what, when you posted it or what you mean by, by design. I'm just pulling it up. Discord. I mean, you can pass me the. Mouse. The mouse. Then, it, you, then you have space. Thank you. Mouse. The mouse. All right, Jet. You're gonna help me design my kill team that I'm gonna beat Dave with later. <laughs> From what you see yes. here, what, what am I building? Yes, yes. That is okay. We got uh, Pathfinders. You know, if you back Oops. Oops, command sorry. droids, Mike, but it has it hits hardcover edition stretch goal. I have not. I'm kind of in a dodgy place with Kickstars right now because I haven't gotten one of my Kickstarter rewards yet. Or one back the, of project, uh, and it's like a year. Followers book. It's been like oh, a year. Yeah. So, yeah. you can understand me being dodgy about you mean that. that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Strongholds and Followers? Yes. How is that? I heard it's like, it could. It, a lot of people are saying it's good, but it could. we wish there was more in it. Uh, there, there, there is definitely less in it than I was expecting, but what's in there is quite good. Mm-hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm very happy with. Well, I mean, okay, this particular Kickstarter I didn't pay for. This was a gift from a gaming group of mine. But yeah. uh, it had I paid for it and had I Kickstarted it, I would still be quite happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to combine that because I saw the Acquisitions Incorporated book. Yep. And that's surprisingly a lot better that, than I thought it would be. Honestly, Acquisitions Incorporated is probably one of my favorite supplements out there. Because I'm like, uh-huh. oh, look, it's all the business mod uh, management <laughs> rules. You would need to start a guild. To start a guild, and it's all very tongue in cheek and yeah. hilarious. Oh, but, but you yeah. don't have to make it tongue in cheek. You don't have to make it tongue in cheek. You, it's uh, that uh, I, I, uh, I, I like it because I think it suits not just this group, but a lot of groups who, um, if they're not in the mood for a terribly serious story, like okay, you can still have a serious story, but it, but having comedy in there where it's where it has a place. <laughs> So it's just enjoy. It's just more enjoyable in that regard. Uh, there was a uh, Shao Crown has said he has posted a new oh, picture okay. on Discord for you. Oh yes, uh, so I had seen this on, one. Will D20 yes. Live likely run command droids. I have to see the rules. I almost got a chance to try them out at um, TFCon. I didn't have the opportunity to uh, because of just how scheduling worked and all that. Uh, yeah. It's interesting. Uh, it's because it's right now. It's got to go up because so far my go-to Power Rangers build. Because if someone's going to run a Transformers game, it's going to be me. Because, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because don't let you chuckleheads do that one. I'll let you guys have every opportunity you want to grow, but the Transformers is mine. Yep, exactly. Um, so, Shadow did just a quick interruption. I might, yes, I have seen this one. Um, but is it... I, would, I, would, I was debating, I was trying to figure out and count it. Is that three and a half feet? Or just over three feet? Damn. Rusty's very upset about... That, yes. Uh. <laughs> He's giving a reasons why. I'm really sorry, Rusty, that happened. Uh, well, also, do research on your own, Rusty, and of course make your own opinion. Ian Lund says he wanted to wait until my power my power hour at Rand was over. Uh, apparently, he's the one that we we converted to watching Spaceship Yamato. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you pass me a small pillow? I think I can prop up my knee. Also, Melda is best waifu, and you vote Captain Fracken is best husbando. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to prop up your knee too? No, I'm good. Okay. 
much. But I'm not going to not take advantage of it. Oh, there so we close. go. So yeah, he's like, thanks to you. <laughs> also, Mike, I'm Sam, sir. I'm missing the last Super Bowl or stream. It's okay, Terror of Death. Yep. It's all right. Tree stump. Tree stump. Tree stump. Tree stump. I see something. Hidden compartment ah! in tree stump. No, no, no. Why is it there? Tree stump. He has horrors. Hidden compartment in tree stump. Uh, for treasures. For treasures and secrets and things. Yes. Okay. I feel like the chat has been... I'll tell you what, guys. I, ha yeah. I feel like the chat has been very patient about me because I've talked about Angoria a lot, but I've not talked about what's actually in it. Should I tell them the one thing that I... One thing in there, Sam? Which one Isn't thing? Isn't that rabbits? Well, I'm thinking... Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking the drought. What we did to the drought. Did you want to talk about that? Just, just what is commonly known about the drought. Not sure. not what actually is going on with the drought. Yeah, then sure. Okay. So, one of the things that has always driven me nuts about the drought, since I was a V lad, was the question of why the hell did the drought... And you guys probably saw the Twitter tweet about this. Why are the drought so gosh darn dark skin when they live subterranean? Yep. Shouldn't they be practically translucent? Shouldn't they be practically translucent? <laughs> of course, if you follow the Norse mythology of which they are based on, that makes sense, but you gotta yeah. really adhere to that. Yeah, for that to make sense, right? The fact read that the, the Book of Mormon, the, the light. <laughs> <laughs> this man, this yeah. man's gonna get me killed. Have you listened to the latest What the Fuck Transformers podcast on Commandos? I have not. I've actually talked to Chris specifically. I'm gonna get to my point. Actually, nope. I'm talking about drought. I'm, I'm gonna learn from this mistake that I make where I keep. Losing tangents, because Sam pointed this out to me. So, so <clears throat> what I did was, uh, when the drow... Because you know how in Angoria, all the go species gods are dead? Because I needed something to accelerate people's culture and change them. Yeah. Yep. The idea is that when the drow lost their goddess, they lost their goddamn minds. Mm -hmm. And decided, well, we're going to bring her back by any means necessary. And they went deep underground, okay. and no one heard from them for 500 years. Okay. One episode of uh, Full Metal Alchemist later. Uh, we don't know. <laughs> we legitimately don't know if they succeeded or not. But now the drow are no longer dark skinned, they're all albino. Black okay. eyes. Okay. Yeah. And they have long bone white hair and they have sharp fang teeth. Okay. Now the drow, should you know you are around should you know you are around a drow, they will not communicate among each other with their language. They communicate via echolocation clicks. Ooh. Because that's that how, that sounds ridiculous, but honestly, if done effectively in game, that well, could be really ominous. Well, here's just how I would idea. do it. I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm like explaining. Here's how yeah. I would do it. Yeah, it would just be a, you're going through the forest near these caves, and you hear yeah, yeah, and your guy yeah. just says, "Row, mm. stop moving. Get on the ground now. Yeah. Why? Because they won't come after us. Because as far <laughs> as everyone's concerned." Yeah, I keep hearing that. They're like the Falmer from Skyrim, yes. <laughs> Apparently they're like the Falmer from Skyrim, but I've never I haven't played enough in Skyrim to find out about the Falmer. Right, okay. Yeah. So so I apologize that it's that similar and comparable. Um so they just go Yeah. And that's how they let each other know that there's someone around. Okay. They're just echolocating for each other. Okay. All right. If you catch a drow, mm -hmm. they will do everything Lucky in their charms. power to escape. <laughs> they will appear to only have the most uh, bare basic clothing. Okay. And tools and weapons. Yep. Um, they got my lucky trow. <laughs> they got my lucky trow, man. <laughs> um, drow will cut off their own limbs to escape. Oh, hey. they're, they're, oh. They have okay. no problem self-harming to get out. Okay. Get away from All right. Mm -hmm. um, a drow can arrest their body to the point where you are convinced they're dead. And you have to make a heal check to make sure they're still alive. Okay. Yeah. So you can literally be like, we killed it. Let's bury the body and walk off. Yeah. And then... And GTFO, yeah. And then you walk away, and the drow comes up and goes. Okay. And they'll be intentionally sleeping to assess whether or not you are, uh, you know what they, anything about them. Anything about them, okay. Huh. Um, however, here's the thing. If you pay attention to the drow you kill, you'll notice they're not emaciated in any way or show any of the signs of malnutrition. They'll show to be physically fit. Okay. Which yep. means they do have a culture. They have mm. fitness and all of that, but they're hiding it from the world. Ah. So that's the only hint you have that there's something going on with them, and they still retain a culture of some kind. Mm. They just strip it off them before they come out. Right. If you manage to capture a drow and they don't es and they don't escape, yep. they will self terminate. Okay. And they will. They have each of them has a brand on their head that's mm -hmm. been tattooed on at birth. Okay. That yeah. will 
wipe them out, and they'll, hmm. they'll dust them. That's neat. Yeah. Very cool. And that's all you know. That's all people know for sure. Also, that they cannot speak with dead with a dead drow. Yeah, it doesn't work. Hmm. You can't speak with dead, summon, or res a drow. Even if you have everything aligned for that. Interesting. So that it's, and a lot of that is probably based on what they, happened with their yeah. experiments and their research. And their culture huh. now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. And they, yes! Rubby, 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 missed. <laughs> you know, if it's, it's like, a very if, different way for Thanos to go about his business. Yes. But yeah, no, if the, if the drow thinks he can't it's escape, he, will the, he or she will literally self terminate to mm -hmm. get out of that situation. And you'll be like, well, we got a pile of dust. Yeah. They do not want to be found. And okay. no one wants to All go right. after them. Because yeah. people don't come back when they try to figure out what the drow are up to. Right. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Because my problem was making them seem too. Hey, Mike, are you going to fork over are the 500? Finish? Sorry. That's my point. I'm yes. Done. Oh, okay. All right. Are you going to fork over the $500 for the War for Cybertron Siege Unicron? No! Because <laughs> it is... Guys, I, I get you guys want me to own this thing, but it is... I'm going to show you how big the fucker is. Mm. Look the size of Mike sitting there. Oh, wow. Oh, taller. So uh, Mike on his knees. Yeah. Uh, that's huge. He's huge. Hmm. That's a whole lot of business. That he is. is absolutely huge. And I have been following the development cycle of it, and it looks like it's going to happen because so many stores are buying... Um, like copies of him. Yeah, it kind of sounds like they want like store flair. Yeah, well, just least... have a unicron sitting around in the store, not going yeah. anywhere. Yeah, but Which, he's yeah, good, good, yeah, good, him. whatever. Five hundred is too rich for my blood. <laughs> yeah. So games and yeah, no, he's just he's too big. It's the same reason why I didn't get Metroplex. It's the same reason why I didn't get Fortress uh, Maximus. Yeah, why and I, I wanted Fortress Maximus. He looked great. He looked absolutely lovely. He was perfect. Yeah, it's three feet tall. But he was two feet... He was, like, in the in close to the meter tall range. I have no space for something like that. <laughs> and I'm not going to have space for something like that until I have kids. Yeah. Wait. Why would having kids make space for something? Because that, we'll... to have a home big enough to accommodate the children. Oh, oh right? okay. So, so but whenever you own your own home, that's big enough to accommodate yeah. children. Okay. Yeah. And that's... Yeah. The, and I'm, and I'm going to... Yeah, that's going to be a while off. And by then, yeah. if I even can find a Fort Max right. at that point... Right. Mike is better off having someone 3D print one and paint it himself for one tenth of the cost. Mm -mm. It doesn't transform. Hey, what if you have a 3D right. printer? Mm -hmm. Oh, they've made someone have made a four foot tall 3D printable Optimus Prime, mm -hmm. and I kind of want it. Okay. <laughs> Which is more powerful, the Idean gun or the Yamato cannon? Um, the Idion gun, I would say, but only because the Idion gun, if you fuck it up, will end existence. Uh, mm. Yamato cannon will cause just a t like a black hole or some shit. I want to say only a black hole, something small. Hmm. All right, so I need a leader. So those for you as well. I don't know. Have you read this? Mm -mm. Okay, so for a Battle Forge kill team to play a balanced game, leader, we need uh, it needs to contain at least three models. So we can't have just one large Primaris of Jordans moving about. Mm. And you can't have one probe. <laughs> that just being a little dick moving around the battlefield. Uh -huh, uh, we need So we need at least three models, one of which must be a leader. Jesus. <laughs> that's a drone. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, that's, it's allowed! That is a very excessive looking drone. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, we need at least one leader model, mm -hmm. and Got then one. three specialists. So what we're going to do, chat, that's is... One. Um, <laughs> I we're to, we're gonna to, you're gonna help me roll some background. You're gonna okay. help me roll some names. We're gonna make my specialists together. The uh, tower or the Eldar. The Eldar. The okay. Eldari. Right on. Yeah. So my Eldar, my leader is going to be a dire Avenger Exarch. I already have him here with his shimmer shield that creates force field around the kill team and his throwing spear that is a power weapon that rips through armor. Nice. But let's figure out what my next what my next specialists are gonna be. We can have. Yeah, I'm kind of glad yeah. you're not doing the Harlequins because they have one model. <laughs> <laughs> they have a single model. One thing. That is. I all. guess they're all specialist anyway. Are <laughs> right. Da yeah, are exactly. Devin and Dave going to battle on stream at some point? Yes. Uh, not this stream. Not because, this stream. No, 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 not this. Stream, but eventually. But yeah. Yes. Um, we can start doing that for week before streams. That's what actually what I was yeah. thinking of. Is, yeah. is week before streams. Once we're done doing the, um, uh, once we're done building the, the sets, Jordan, myself, and Dave is we'll have a week before stream where not necessarily every week before stream, no. but. Uh, at least whenever, one. At least one where we either have a uh, free-for-all match or have like a campaign, a once-a-month mm -hmm. once 
uh, not once a month. That would be every week before stream. Yeah. Um, like we'll, we'll balance. We'll, we'll balance we'll, it out. We'll test it out. Yeah, exactly. We'll yeah. see how it goes. We'll see how yep. the audience takes to it. Yep. And then yeah. we'll do it. Maybe it will be a once a month thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 And, and, but that's knows, depending on your schedules. Yep. And who and knows? It could evolve into its own uh, thing. Part of D twenty Live. You know, we call yeah. it far too many dice. Yeah. Far too many dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, or that's up for, uh, yeah, that is the, this is the Kickstarter book. We'll talk about that later. God, yeah, okay. I'm bad at cameras. This I is need, the Kickstarter book. Yeah, I need advice from the guys right. who, who are better at super glue. So Devin, yeah, uh, this oh. piece of the Tyrannosaurus from uh, the Megazord, his tail okay. has a fissure in it, and it's so wide that I can get a gap. Okay, how do I super glue this thing back shut? Uh, is it the, the, are all the other seams along the piece Perfect. shut? Perfectly fine. So there's it's wait the that loop. that fissure there? Yeah, no, up at the top, at the top, at the top of the loop. Oh, oh, so it's badly molded. If the rest of the piece fits together, I would actually recommend getting um, uh, what's called green stuff epoxy putty. Do you, do, does it need to stay this color, or are you painting it? Uh, I'm not painting it. Okay. Because like, right. there's no way I can get back to that same resin translucency. Yeah, no. So um, I was thinking I was gonna put try and get a dab of super glue in the yeah. crack and let it let that seal back up because i'm doing i did a test seal with the same yeah. plastic which is where is I, it? W I would use Where's epoxy right actually because epoxy dries clear mm -hmm. and will still seal it so if you're not planning on painting it if you were planning on painting it i'd suggest doing a um well because uh, a the recommendation yeah. online yeah was to do super glue because i just super glued this piece with the same plastic yeah and it's you can see the crooked piece at the top and that's yeah. strong as hell Oh yeah, yeah. So the super glue works. Super glue would work. Epoxy would actually good. Like super glue has a, a glossy finish to it, though. Whereas epoxy is matte, yeah. so it depends on what you want. Green stuff. If you're gonna, you're like I'd use green stuff if you're gonna paint it because that would be able to fill it properly. Ah, I broke it. If you're not planning on painting mm -hmm. it at all, then I would use um, epoxy. Uh, like uh, yeah. clear drying two part epoxy. Exactly, clear drying two part epoxy. It's matte. It would oh, so how long better. does it take super glue to cure completely? Uh, super glue? Uh, I have a here. twenty four hours. <laughs> it will glue in about three seconds with mm. this. <laughs> yeah. With the thing Devin has. Yes. Now, do you use an uh, accelerant or? Yes, I do. Nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna do not hold. I do appreciate. I do appreciate the green putty advice, Devin, but I have no yes. way. Of if you yeah, if you're not gonna paint it, use yeah. a use epoxy. Um, super glue takes twenty minutes. That is five seconds. So I have to get the I have to get the dab <laughs> right. of glue in here. What you do is you get the dab of glue in there, um, flatten it with a piece of paper or like or or whatever. That way it's not on your hands. Spray okay. this, just one spray. Okay. So how do yeah. I get the glue into that space? Is my question. Uh, I would use that. Get a paper towel, put it yeah. in, and then wipe it. That way, it's like because they like I let it run in okay. to the crack now, and then wipe it off the surface and spray it with the accelerant. Okay, all right. I've never Arms done this before. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I have super glue here. But okay, yeah, is, that works. Yours the the accelerant. Nice. Yours, the, yours is way nicer yeah. than mine. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, freaking stupid. no, no. Oh well. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, chat. So uh, the I, specialist uh, that we have. Yeah, the, the specialist that we have. I have a leader specialist already. We're gonna ignore that guy. Uh, we have combat specialists that are better at killy things, uh, killing things. We have calm specialists that will, and why why we're doing this is each specialist will be able to gain experience points and will actually go up in level, <laughs> um, which makes later which makes, uh, later campaign games uh, more challenging, more challenging, or, yeah. uh, or yeah. uh, give you uh, more powers or exactly. stronger, uh, stronger minis. Yep. Oh, Unlike you. a uh, regular tabletop where you just come in with your minis and, well, they have the stats from the book. Yeah. You can evolve yours. You can evolve these guys. Um, so that we have a we have a combat specialist that is uh, stronger close combat. We have a comm specialist that will allow my guys to um, communi communicate better across the uh, the skirmish battlefield and get rerolls. Um, demolition specialist. I don't think I need to explain that one. Um, Does he make parties? Uh, what's that? <laughs> Does he make, he make parties? parties? Yes. Um, heavy specialists, which are different than demolition specialists. Heavy specialists use big guns. Demolition specialists use explosions and destroy the rest of the terrain. Um, medics, snipers, scouts, and zealots. I'm really not sure what zealots do. I don't think I even can get zealots in oh, my, yeah. in my to army. those of you who are in Florida, sorry for interrupting, yep. we do hope you stay safe. If you need to get out of the stream to get yourself safe, please do so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Take care of yourselves. Uh, I've been this will be up later. Yeah. 
Make sure you're around to watch it later. To watch it later, exactly. All right. So, so we got so we got a com sniper and scout from uh from Lord Sathian. Comms. Tips alert says comms. Okay. Okay. Did sniper. Scout. Where is it? Isn't it here? No, 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 no. It's not there. That one. That loop. Other loop. Oh, that's even that dead. Yeah. Yeah. Is it wiped off? Oh, the like, is the accelerant on there? Not yet. Okay. Ah, my skin. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Spray the excel that. So take that. If the glue's in there, I don't. I don't know if the glue's in there. I can't tell. I'm asking. It's the, it's it's a liquid. It would. It's gonna get in better than your to than your own hand. Then uh, so just spray that once and, and yeah. Spray it over your. How paper towel. else do you make the A team without a bunch of specialists? <laughs> How else do you make the A team? Well, a combat specialist would be Mister T. So you know, and um, uh, a comm specialist. Would probably be uh, the guy, uh, who's the guy in charge? Oh, is it? What did what, what did uh, what did Sathian say? Com Hannibal. sniper and Hannibal's in charge. Uh, Hannibal's in charge. Medic? I can't. I, yeah, we need to scroll up. Sorry. Yeah. And uh, scout. Yeah. Okay. And There's then face. comms from Tipser. He's okay. A, he is a yep. social specialist, and um, he's because he's not a disguise specialist. Mister T is his own class. Yes. I'm All right. Fool who goes up against Mister T. All right. Any model uh, designated as Mr. T automatically gets a black panel van. Uh, <laughs> which makes Kill Team really interesting. Really interesting. <laughs> I'm surprised that none of you have glued yourself to the table during all of those craft streams. Not uh, I, I super glued myself to myself. I've glued yeah. models to me. Uh, <laughs> I've glued models to me all the time. Yeah. I'm just really quiet. I'm like, uh-oh. I, I, well, while I was working at Games Workshop one day, I, uh, I was working on a, on a store army. Um, customers came in and I just got up and started talking and selling and the entire time I was talking and selling I had a model in my hand ah, uh, no! that, that I had previously been oh, gluing um, and it wasn't until I got to the cash and I because I'm left handed I was going to do the yeah. obviously cash out with my left hand so I'm like whack ah <laughs> as, it, as it not only hit and like pokey bits poked into my hand but it started pulling off the glue as I was typing yeah. for a second or two I'm like oh Oh, hello, Cadian. <laughs> These Cadian, two fingers were. Cadian stands. Cadian never. Cadian never falls. Oh, are we from all, oh. between my two fingers. They're, argue, they're arguing in the chat about which is the strongest super robot. Um, I'm going to weigh in. Uh, yeah, Mazinger Zero, right, Razafon, so yeah. Idion. Calm Sniper and Scout. Oh, you guys left out Get a. No, there's Get a Emperor. Yeah, no, those are the big get four, I'd say. Those are the guys who can tune realities. But, uh. Um, Sorry, continue. That's fine. Oh, and um, um, what's his face from uh, Gurren Logan? I uh, know because they're they're listing because he can break reality. He can't. They're they're arguing who's stronger than him. Oh, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Okay, it's very true. All right. Story about glue. Yes. So, so scout. <laughs> Thankfully enough, I already had a ranger, and I figure if any of the four models I'm allowed to use for this are 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 a sniper, it would be a ranger. With, that already has a sniper rifle, so yes. Okay. And in fact, uh, yeah, they're the only ones that are allowed to be snipers. That's that's there we go. Okay, so we have a sniper. How about him? What's he? He's a rail cannon. He's a rail. <laughs> that's a rail gun. <laughs> that is an anti-tank gun. Yes. You're, but you're, I <laughs> fully intend to use it on soft targets. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm going to use an anti-artillery gun against a squishy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And the only reason I'll miss is because the Eldar are so damn thin. They are, yeah. <laughs> we are very wafy. We are very wafy. Yes. Yes. But wildly dangerous but at the same time. Yep. So, funny story about glue. Yes. Mm -hmm. I accidentally broke one of my nails uh, right before uh, last weekend. Yeah. So, my mom mm -hmm. decided, you know what, because you're showing off your hands to your family, it might be a good idea if you get oh, fake nails. Problem. So, I went to a salon... <laughs> and oh boy, do, does does the glue that they have that puts on the fake nails dry instantly? Is this the some of the newer glue I heard uh, women at work talking about? Where it's like an additional layer on top okay. of the glues, or there, okay, this, this is or do you mean the glue underneath the, the glue fake glue nails? Underneath, oh, glue, never mind. This okay, right, right here yeah, yeah. is plastic, right? Yep. So they glued that onto my finger. It dries that. instantly, and it's like cement. Mm. Then what they did was they put <laughs> acrylic on top of it. Yeah. Which is the this part, which is an extra layer of. Nail. Yeah. Right, and uh, that is comments. also like That's cement. That's also cement. It's either miss horribly or turn Eldar into spray paint of blood. No, no, I'm yeah. laughing at Ian Loon's comment. What? Uh, uh. 
Oh, I thought I was calling you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Babe, is that not true? It is true. All right, so that's so I need a calm specialist. What? Which of these four? Pro. What Yamato? Mm-hmm. Um, apparently, we've been putting people onto it because we've been streaming uh, Super Robot Wars V, mm. and because of that, they're like, "What is this battle?" Because it's it's such a big part of everything, and the problem is with Super Robot Wars because of the fact that it's basically they're trying to compress seven movies down to one game. Okay. To be the central conflict because yep. um, Yamato is a huge, huge fucking franchise. Because it's part of the same franchise as, um, it's part of the same continuity as Galaxy Expressway Triple Nine and Harlock. Okay. Yeah. Which I love. Yeah. What do you mean, Shadow Crone? What is the special tactic of the Tau? Uh, enticing other races to become part of their own? <laughs> <laughs> how would Shooting. you like to be, how would you like to be in charge of your own business? Yes. It's a multi-level marketing. <laughs> <laughs> Or oh, shooting them from the from the Aim insertion the... zones. <laughs> Aim for the crotch with siege <laughs> weapons. Yeah, okay. Oh, jeez. Yep. All right. So I have the three. To, actually, the the remaining two comms and scout. Any of the four types of models I can be. So we have rangers, dire avenger. You know what? Okay. All right. So we'll just to round this out nicely. Have at least That's one of each of the four types. I have a Guardian Defender, which uses ranged weapons, and a Storm Guardian, which uses pistols and a sword. Nice. Um, so, chat, wh wh uh, which one should be my scout? The the Guardian that uses a sword and a pistol, or the Guardian that uses a rifle? <laughs> and the other one will be the comms. <laughs> the <two laughs> jokes. Yes. Right away. <laughs> <the crew>. yeah. <laughs> it's a shame they never get there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Storm Guardian, cool. Sword, pistol, Storm Guardian, cool. All right. Hey, Sam, will you tell us how Mike proposed to you? What do you mean, the double proposal? Of, uh, the counter proposal. The counter proposal. <laughs> so, Sam was the counter proposal. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much. So yeah. my what happened was is that it was done. Sword and pistol. Sword and pistol. It was the uh, it was the the mid the mid the break between uh, halves of Com Bravo. And what happened was is that he said, "Hey, so you know how we always have a giveaway? Uh, well, this year we do have another giveaway, but this time we picked we pre-picked the winner, which is why nobody got any other like extra stuff. So Sam, can you come up and help? At which point I thought, oh, he wanted me to help him pick up cabbages because we had thrown cabbages at him. If you had watched this thing, Dice yeah. cabbage, um, so much cabbage. Now the thing is, is that I also had a plan because he had told me beforehand that he had pre-picked a winner. And I'm like, okay, cool. Which means that I'm going to be on the floor picking up cabbages. So my plan was actually pick up the cabbages, and then as he was doing the giveaway, I go, wait, honey, there's something left here in the cabbages, and turn around and already be on my knees. There you go. Right? Uh, that did not happen, because no. he kneeled down beside me, and I was just like, what? So I look over at his stuff, and he's holding out a ring box, oh, and I'm like, oh my god, this is happening now. Oh, <laughs> uh, right. what do I do? So, there he is, giving off an absolutely beautiful speech, and here I am, freaking the fuck out, because I'm like, well, fuck, now he's going first, he's got a great speech, I don't have a great speech, I have enough. It was enough. a lovely speech. <laughs> but you have music, I which have he music, didn't. I have music, right? And then he's just, he's going off, and then he goes, will you be my wife? And I'm like, fuck, alright, cool, we're doing this, how am I gonna, how am I gonna transition to my thing? <laughs> so... <laughs> Without saying... Wait no. a moment? Or no. no? Or yeah. I see your proposal and raise you. Raise you. So my thing was, hang on, I need a second. Oh. This is a little awkward. And then everyone starts freaking the fuck <gasps> no. out. Because they're like, oh yeah. my god, is she going to fucking break up with him on yeah. stage? Yeah. And no. I'm like, I have my own question. <laughs> and when the when I when I pulled up my own ring box, everyone fucking lost it. Yeah. They just went absolutely fucking nuts. I thought it was the I thought it was the music that they were cheering at. Was it you? What did the music start? The music while started, you were it out? and then I pulled out my ring box, ah, and then okay, I said, right. "I have my own," because I have a question to ask you. At which point, yeah, the whole audience fucking lost it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice, so, nice. And they're just like, "Did you guys get on video? Did we get on video? Yes, that's a story. We did. So now cool. this is a story that we have to fucking tell. Now, first off, we didn't want to actually." What was the music? It was uh, Born to Love You by Queen. 
Uh, <laughs> it's our song. That's the that's our song. Yeah. Yeah. So what happened was is that we actually did we we were told uh, well we didn't tell Tyler. Mike told Tyler that he was going to propose. So Mike was uh, so Mike was like, "Can you film it?" And then Tyler was like, "Yes, I will film this because I am the AV guy." Yes. So I will because I can. Now, what happened was is that there's there's two things. Hmm. <laughs> uh, first off, All right. we we didn't want people to actually put this up online because of the fact that what? um well, it, it was it's Perfect. more of just it like yeah, we did put it in we did propose in front of uh, a group of people. Yeah. It's not something that we want to have want super glue online. Glue online our necessarily. Our yeah, right? exactly. It's, yeah. It's not something so that we wanted the, there, uh, right? That's not yep. the thing cuz oh, like right, it's right, right. It's just, it's more, that is a more private thing that we wouldn't, because we don't want to have put up on D20 out. Live. That's yeah. just not what we really want to do. No, exactly. So, it, it's okay if you guys want to put stuff up out there, but it's just like, it's just like, if you're part of the D20 Live crew and you have footage, we didn't want that up on online. That's just not what we wanted. So, yeah. but we, we, could, we knew we couldn't control other people putting it up online. So that's not something that we... Yeah, we're not going to give people shit We're not, not going to give people shit for that because we know that there was a bunch of videos out online already. Now... Tyler did film it. The problem was is that we only got like partial footage <laughs> for <laughs> things because we have what well, we have two camera angles which are perfectly fine because we got the guest reaction and we got the top of Mike's head. <laughs> but if you actually look in the videos of other people who are filming it, you can see that Tyler's standing there with our DSLR. Yeah. Now, our DSLR did film it. Except for the fact that the camera died oh, as no. he was filming it, oh. and it died just as we left, and the camera did not save the footage as it was recording, oh. so when it died, it just killed the whole file. Oh, mm. shoot. Oh, no. So, we don't have... It's That's not, not Tyler's fault. It's not fault. Tyler's fault. That's the camera's fault, and we didn't know that that was happening because we didn't realize how bad the DSLR had actually deteriorated we until go. we got to that point. Right, yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> we were we were we were really upset about the DSLR not Tyler. That's not Tyler's fault. Yeah. So Tyler blamed himself more than Tyler blamed himself more than anything and we were like, No, it's not your it's fault. It's not your fault. It's really not your fault. Because the guy so, the poor guy, and you can see it in the pre footage. Yeah. Of just him going between all three cameras. Yeah. Trying to make them all work. Because we need new camcorders. We do. We do need new for camcorders. Con going. We do need new camcorders. We do need a new DSLR. We need we're, we just need something that'll help film better. Right? So mm -hmm. that's that's not Tyler's fault. That being said, we still do have footage. Because yeah. there's three different things that happen. One, we still have the footage of the guests and of the audience, because that didn't stop while we were recording everything else. We also have the streamer's footage. Yeah. Which, that's what we showed the guys when we came back in. Yeah. And we also, also, found out that Noir was, stand was sitting right behind Tyler... As this was going on. <laughs> so Noir from our chat actually gave us like a good 80% of our footage. Amazing. Thank you, Noir. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. So we're very yeah. eternally grateful that Noir got that Shaking footage. And we also we also got a, pop, a couple of other people's footage. Um, like Brandon, um, he's also one of Tyler's friends. He was in the audience and he filmed a good chunk of the beginning of it. Um, we also got one of our other fans... Uh, who just happened to be there, he also got a good chunk of it as well. So Okay. Yep. And hmm. over the scheme of all things, we actually do have enough footage that we can actually show from beginning to end the entire proposal. Yeah. We're still not gonna put it up online because that is that Yeah, is, but that's that's something that you would like give a videographer for your yeah. for your wedding. And, exactly. And that that's like thing. the yeah. thing that we would do for our wedding or we show it off to our friends. It's yeah, exactly. we still have the whole thing. Yep. Exactly. That is cute. I didn't now now I understand the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Devin was not Matt. there. Oh, feels bad. Hello, is that Tyler? That's tech. No, it's tech. That's just tech for Oh, that's tech. Okay, all right. I know it would make sense that that was Tyler, but Tyler has his own thing and you know it's him. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. So we did we did film it. It did get we it did we did film it and we still have all the footage. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's See if three random charts will give me some nice personality stuff. All right, so for my sniper, I need chat to roll a d10. The way you said that, you made it sound like it was a personality for you. Yeah, right? <laughs> no. 
What? I love what? The personality. He does. I'm like, oh. my personality. If you need a needs... rebuild, man. I mean, <laughs> I, need a, table. I need a re-roll for my personality. I need five. Five, five from Rob Hagen. All right, so my sniper has survivor's guilt. This warrior has seen all of their comrades and loved ones die around them, which is horribly horrific for an Eldar, because there's not many of them left. 7-11. Yeah. All right. So and then, yeah, Sandra uh, Hamer will still be 52 inches tall total, not the original height. All right. <laughs> That's huge! All right. The, the, so we'll do that. He's got survivor's guilt. All right. Um, Jack also rolled a five. <laughs> Jack will also rolled a five. Good, that works. So that means it was the the, the number that I see the most. That would that would work with a D10. The yeah. next one is a D66. So that's actually going to be very difficult. <laughs> All right. So the first the first and oh, second our chat people automatically has yeah. dice. Yeah. The the oh, first yeah. and second people to that's roll a D66 will name this guy. <laughs> okay. There's Titanus Barrett. Right. Normal form. Survivor's guilt. God, he's fat. Look at that. 64. Thick. Are you fat shaming a Megazord? His original height was going to be like, what, 64? He's a heckin' pages. chonker. Yes, it's still huge. 54. 54. All right. Okay. So there's no additional stickers. 50, Let's see if this. D64. Oh, so that doesn't you look roll. Like it's okay. 66. Yeah, you, you roll you roll two uh, d six, so two d six or two d six, and it creates an number between eleven and sixty six. I don't know, I got no dice, so I just pull in. Wow, dice. wow, he is going to be mocked so hard. Mike, are you okay. going to get the Mega oh. Man Zero ZX collection when it comes out? I didn't know it was Zero and ZX. I might get it just because I like the ZX games. <laughs> what? This guy is so edgy. Who? <laughs> oh, your my sniper is named Nwithi, born of twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! <laughs> for he has, high school character. For he that. has survivor's guilt and a dark, broody sniper with a deep hood. <laughs> Wish you would step back him. from that edge, my, my friend. friend. <laughs> Does he cry <laughs> blood? <laughs> no, but he will now when I paint him, Lord Sathian. Oh my god, paint, I love him already. drop of blood. <laughs> yeah, please keep it under ten pounds. That'd be really scary, Shadow <laughs> Crone. Yeah. <laughs> Edge Lord! Edge! Lord. Edge! I can see him in my head. He just has black hair. Yeah, I know, right? He's hanging out with Farseer, Tall Deer. Just saying, you don't understand knifey. my pain. Yeah. Knifey, yes, he is a knife here. He is a knife here from Dragon Age. Oh my god. Alright, so that is my sniper. Alright, let's delightful. try let's try this again. Let, let's do Dave next. So, Dave, which model do you want to create a personality for your Tau for? Alright, let's go. Captain America. <laughs> Let's go with... Devin's prop will stood, uh, will have a bit of weight, but at least not a full scale or real <sighs> chain chainsaw. Yes! Dave, I don't know how you'd make an actual chainsaw. It's unliftable but, by uh, regular humans. By humans. <laughs> a two scale chainsaw. I can't actually lift it. Like, oh, Jordan's in the chat. Hey, hey Jordan! Jordan. Hey. hey! How's it going, Trash Panda? Trash Panda! Is that what we called him last night? No, Jordan. look! He's, He's a trash, trash Panda! Oh, that's a thing! I couldn't tell. Jordan, did, Jordan, did you, see my, did you uh, hear the name of my first kill team member? Uh, we may have to, uh, we may I, have, I don't know when he yeah. just came in, it, yeah. it, but, uh... uh so to, just so you know, Jordan, we're, I'm making up my Eldari kill team right now. I'm having the chat make up their names and, uh, composition and personality types by doing rolls. Which is okay. yeah. Yeah. So the answer. server doesn't seem to kill the stickers. <laughs> <laughs> No, but the scout might, just to make Mike mad. I can I see his call sign is so I was going to say, I don't hate Driz that much. I'm like, that's a fucking lie. Uh, that's a lie. Um, you did kill him in a thing. No, I didn't kill him. I death. orchestrated his he death. He orchestrated his death. <laughs> All right, that's so. That's different. Wow, these stickers are just uh, I got I to gotta Dave, pick this. a model. All right, I'm going to do my, uh, he's a Pathfinder. Okay. Yep. Uh, he's a Pathfinder with a rail, a rail gun. All right, chat. Roll a d10. the 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 most results in the d10 will be this. Pathfinders. Is he your scout? Yeah, he's your scout. He's your sniper. All right, we got an eight. We got an eight. Eight. Eight and nine. nine. Okay. Yeah, that's close to eight. Yeah, it's, it's close to eight. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, but in three. All right. Two, two, one, two, got a two. two okay. All right, still one. eight. All right. What? Your Pathfinder sniper is dishonored. This warrior was once highly regarded officer, but after committing an unknown act of subversion, they were subjected to the punishment ritual Makla. Sounds like a Klingon thing. Yeah, it really does. Uh, <laughs> and returned to the ranks of a simple fire warrior. Ooh. Uh, they, they fight fiercely to erase this stain on their dishonor. 
I like nice. it. Oh, we got another eight at the end there. That works. Yeah. 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 This tower is drift. <laughs> <laughs> so far sight almost. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, almost far sight. So All what's right. the next? Uh... Uh, so we got an individual name generator and then a rank. <clears throat> uh, so if he's a. Uh... All right. Um, chat, need you to roll. Uh, no, no, we'll make this a pick. Because um, they have to come from one of the four casts. So I need you to decide on fire, earth, air, or water for him. That will determine his last name. And then uh, in that same post, so basically post an element, and then roll a 66. Yep. So we got air, fire, uh, fire, air. Edge. Air, fire, edge! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're from the edge sept. Fire, 42. Fire, 42. Okay. Uh, All right. Air, uh, 32. Okay. No, Earth, Earth 44, sorry. Okay. And Edge 32. Edge 32, I love it. <laughs> All right, we'll go with... Dave, pick a number that you like. Uh, fire 40. We'll start with Fire, because that was the first one posted yep. by Shadow Crown. Okay. Uh, so it's a Fire and, class. Uh, yeah, I'll take Fire, and then 44 from Rob Hagen. 44 from Rob Hagen. You are Watana Shas. <laughs> Watana ha ha Watana? Watana Shas. Fire. Shaz, they, okay. they don't have last names. They're well, cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they belong to a cast. They are not people. Yeah, morning yeah. roll call is real hard. <laughs> it's real hard. <laughs> Shas, sir, and it's like <laughs> all of them. It's, it's like space. It's like space balls. They're all a bunch of assholes. Yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Firecast makes sense since the cat. Yeah, he literally was brought back down to Warriors. Yep. So yeah, so you are Watana. That guy is Watana Shas. Yes, he is my scout. All right. All right, back to me. Let's do this one more time. Let's see. Let's see if I get an equally edge lordy name. All right. Uh, so we're gonna do. Remember that. Remember mine, Chad. I don't have anything to write it. Down. Oh, I'll write it down. I'll oh, write okay. it down. Watana Shas. Watana Shas. And Shas. write down. Uh, write down the number for his uh, backstory. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, the, uh, um... Eight. Yeah eight. Dishonored. Yep. Okay. All right. Devin <laughs> beat me to the Spaceballs joke. <laughs> 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 Victory. All right. Um, I fixed the stickers. Yeah. Do you need your paint, by the way? You asked me to bring gold paint. I did, because well, I'm doing two things today. One is the cleanup maintenance on my Megazord figures. Yeah. Because I wanted to fix this piece right here, which this should be pretty solid right now. So okay. I five can... seconds. It's been five seconds at least. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did, did, you, did you squeeze it, or did you, did you shoot the accelerator at it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it was fine minutes ago. All right, um, so I'm going to pop it on and see if it gives. There we go. Um, all right, so we'll do my scout next. All right, chat, roll a d10. Let's see which nope. one. Nope, crack right open. God damn oh. it. Is it supposed to fit in there? Yeah, it's just oh. really snug. Crack huh. open. Got a nine. One. One. Nine, Nine and fifty. <laughs> okay, I'll write that Two. down for thirty-three. <laughs> Jack of many names, being efficient. Uh, nine, one, nine, and th nine and two. So we got nine so far. Okay. Wait another ten seconds. So this is nine for my scout. One, one two. two. Uh oh, two, two. Ah oh, man. Okay. We're gonna need a dice because now it's tied. Hang on, oh. give me a second. Yeah, yeah. Maybe more Five, four, <laughs> three, two. One. One next to post. Eight. 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 What? <laughs> You're not helping Terror of Death. <laughs> you didn't do any tiebreakers. <laughs> All right, uh, we need dice. Let's do a tiebreaker ourselves. Uh, uh, you want to just in, leave this in, in the drawer. In the drawer. In the drawer. Yeah. Watch your elbow. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna roll. All right, Sam. Get the production manager rolls the tiebreaker. That's this is a, one of the fuck yes. That's a twenty. <laughs> I know, but high low. But, there we go. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's uh, do three. Mm, there's three of them, yeah. Let's do it. No, D6. D6. <laughs> D6. I know there's D6s in there. I put them in there. I'll do that again in a sec. Devin, do you have the gold paint so I can give this a try? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Here. Where did I. Uh oh. I brought all the contrast paints, too. That's funny. So so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So, what, uh, so the, what, what was it again? Eight, nine, and two. I think. No. Nine, one, two, one, two, and, and nine. Then, yeah. All right. So one, nope, two, not. and nine. So one will be one, two. Two will be three, four. Nine will be right. five, six. Yeah. Five, six. Five, six. Nine. All right. So our scout is passionate. Ooh. With the heat of a thousand burning suns. Um, so the, Eld the Eldari is consumed with burning emotions that fuel his intense battle fury. So he's a scout that actually wants to kick ass. Nice. This may or may not work out well for them. Or a blood angel. I don't oh, know. you could say he's part of that group of guys. 
uh, that like to go into melee, even though they're fire warriors. <laughs> oh, he he's, so he, oh, he, um, he's a he's a he's on the path to becoming a striking scorpion. Yeah. He's a little too bloodthirsty for his own good. Devin, if yeah. I actually did a real weight and real size chainsaw, would yeah. it not be like eighty pounds or heavier? Yeah, I I I, I don't. On the light end. <laughs> <laughs> now, bro, I lift, but I don't lift eighty pounds. <laughs> Wait, I've I've seen commissars hold chain weapons. Yes, they're smaller. Huh. They're, they're 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 smaller. They're not Astartes chain weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but they're um, but they're they're smaller chain weapons. Yeah, they're yeah. they're the Imperial Guards, you know, who get recognized enough. Yeah, um, the Astartes let them have close to their equipment. Yeah, uh, should they get the butter knife? <laughs> the Astartes. <laughs> right. Exactly. All right. First and second D sixty sixes. Let's see if we can get an equally uh, edgy name. This guy's gonna kick ass with that sweet ass. Ah. I'm done. Writing that down. Writing that right. down. <laughs> I need and you guys are done. I need an extra pair of hands to get the glue in. Two thirty sevens. Twenty two. Okay. Thirty seven and twenty two. Having way done. too much fun. Are having way too much fun. This is this fun. And I don't want to interrupt. Yeah. That fun. Good All right. Damn. So that would be. I'm doing where, a delicate the hell portion is of adding a torso to some legs. Well, if anyone's got a free. Pair <laughs> oh, that's of hands. funny. 37 doesn't actually exist on a D66 table. It's not mathematically possible to roll. Oh. So we need a, So 22 and 34. Yeah, there's 34, yeah. and then there's two 33s and a 24. Okay, we'll do the 33 since there's more. This Since they happen to... All right, so we'll do the 33 So and the 34, which is really the... <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Cool. That will... Uh, the win. And then that name is 33 was, yeah. Put in too much glue. <laughs> Alright, less edgelord, but still cool. He is Tishriel, spirit on the wind. <laughs> so that's actually like a proper Eldari name. Do you have any paper towel I can use? Wait, 37 doesn't exist? Well, that's a neat bit of trivia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, weird, huh? <laughs> yeah. It was a committee boat. It was, it was a committee boat. It was like Pluto. <laughs> Teach Riel's spirit. Planetary of the wind. society right. decided to fuck us all and take away one of our planets. Kill them both. All right, so we're gonna be mean to Jordan, and uh, we're gonna make up some names for him. Steveless. All right, so first name is Steve. Jordan, are you okay with us naming one of your space marines Steveless? Or just Steve. Or just ah, Steve. There it is. There's the clerk's jokes. <laughs> All right, I need naming generators for his ast Adeptus Astartes. Oh my god, Adeptus Astarts. Jordan, what chapter are you? What the, like? Are you doing straight up Ultramarines or is he still in the chat? I think because I saw him. I saw him a little, a little way up. He was going to do Ultramarines. Yeah, yeah, he's been painting them for a while. You dickheads! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never escape the story of Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, chat. Roll that. We're gonna make Jordan's. He's got three reavers. I think. Huge. That is a that's a beefy chest. Yes, that's a beefy that's chest right there. Well, this is the torso. Shadow Crown posted you a photo. Yeah, of these are uh, the X thirty five stealth battle. Yeah, he saw it. Sets. Yeah, no, I saw it. Thank you. Ultramarines because lazy paints. Because lazy paints. Um. All right. So I know he's got a reaver and he's got an intercessor. Let's do a reaver because they're cool models. So the Reavers are probably going to be his scouts or his demolitionists. Oh, for Astartes rolls five and sixty-three. Uh, actually, I need another uh, Jack of Many Names. Can you roll another D ten for me? Because their names are not as uh, yeah. Okay, but Plus he is. Plus, have jetpacks. The Eldar have far wider variety of names apparently than the Space Marines do in this book. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have. Joe Durgar. <laughs> <laughs> Give me him with uh, this part, sure. Seven two seven. Seven two seven seven. Okay, all right. Okay. okay. Uh, so it's five. Oh, oh, Jordan, yes. your reaver has a noble personality. So what I'm gonna do? <laughs> this warrior will take any risk and pay any price to preserve his battle brothers. He is such a good little golden retriever. I am good boy. Yes. I am good boy. Yes. And I saw seven a bunch. So his name will be Gaius. <laughs> Last name Astus. Cassius. <laughs> Gaius Cassius. Or Gaius Apollon. Wow. So Ultramarines. So, so original. See, so what I'm thinking see, is, the thing is with Gaius Apollon just to, makes me think is Gaius not, Apollo. Cause like, cause yeah, no, it's like it's a Battlestar Galacticus. Right out of my head. You should just buff it in. 
get it. Fuck yeah, he does. Yeah, we're in one pot. Alright, which glue are you using? Uh, Alright, so well, this will be one of your Reavers, Jordo. And he is a noble. And we can Don, he's a noble so individual. And, and the, <laughs> it's raw natural pressure with the plastic. Here, what I'm going to do is... So uh, it's either going to be Gaius Apollon or Stevelus Apollon. One, two, three, go. <laughs> All right. And my last one before I start modeling. I need, I got my scout oh my named, my sniper named. Okay. And my... Well, I need to do my leader, but... I call that type of personality the meat shield. Now, <laughs> yes. <that> up, yeah. <laughs> Very alone. true. Speed it. Yep. All right. Actually, oh, let's do my leader. Here. We'll yes. do that. My dire avenger... Exarch, the only one, cool. the only one in my kill team who should actually be on a battlefield in any way, shape, or form. Okay. You did the thing you told us. Spread it with the thing. We're doing a second pass this time. We got the glue in there this time. Okay, cool. All right. So good. we're gonna because yeah. I wedged it open to get it and open. So the accelerant I'm touching the outside. Yeah. Now, Jordan's like, let Steve let's die. Let's die. Let's let's die. The accelerant's got in. Mike, uh, leave it alone for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So he wants Steve to, die. to die. No! <laughs> Life is the real prison. <laughs> <laughs> Full Ultima. Full Macrag and the Emperor. All right, my last For one, those guys. those things he said. For all those things that what said. All right, my For last holy guy. Holy shit, our guy's back. <laughs> Hashtag Steve list forever. forever. Yes. I would be the worst guardsman. Death Execute is the easy one. way out. Oh, yeah, Death is the easy way out. All How right. did you make it through Green <laughs> Basic? I don't know! <laughs> Alright. There's a character like that. Getting through Basic? No, the, the, guy who, uh, the guy who always gets achievements despite the fact that he does nothing. Oh, Commissar uh, Jordan. Help me out. Commissar um, yeah, you know, Jordan Kane? Knows. Kane, yeah. I think? Yeah, he's like he's supremely praised and it's just... <laughs> He's Luton just some, one lucky on guy. Yeah, he's he, he's lu he's lucky as that lucky as fuck. And, and he's trying yeah. to make it so that everyone knows the truth. I think his face looks like hamburger. Six and sixty one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Many names. Uh, so this one will be my leader. He has absolute focus. Good All Aceriani. <laughs> <laughs> Mike has locked me in a truant shape prison for the last six years. And you never get out either. <laughs> and then we got Jack and many names had a 61, and Trigon okay. uh, and John had a 32, so 61, okay, cool. 32. Like, that'll be his name. Uh, does that That's make sense? Um, yeah. Do it because I told you to. Because you told me to! Jesus Christ. Rush is the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> and his. <laughs> my god, these guys are beefy. Okay. These are the beefiest towel you'll How ever see. How on earth would you pronounce that? Ingfar. In ing Ingfar. Ingfar. Yeah. Ingfar. That, that's my attempt. <laughs> All right. Ingfar. So do I do that horribly unpronounceable th thing, or do I do that moderately... Requiel? Requiel. Oh, that's so edgy. Oh, let's yes. go with edge. <laughs> Because that was one of the other rules. It's like, I'll go with the original one that uh, that Jack rolled, so it's going to so be Red Wheel. We're so blades cut harder. <laughs> <laughs> Beefy, filthy Zenos. Oh, wait till, wait till you hear this. Hold on. <laughs> Beefy, filthy Zenos. <laughs> so, what? What? Why am I missing? Beefy, filthy Zenos. Rub hag and bottom. <laughs> oh, Beefy, filthy Zenos. <laughs> well, yeah, look at these guys. They don't <laughs> even have arms yet, and they're <laughs> giants. They're already giant. Hold on, hold on. Guardian. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I just did, so. My guardian is beefy monstrosity of a... Uh, they're X-35 yeah. uh, like, stealth battle. What is the sheer width of this? <laughs> he is, and, and my guy can cloak. He's three of me <laughs> wide. All right. He can cloak and he's All right, got so, a uh, burst chat, cannon. Exactly. Chat, you have created my leader... His name is Requiel, Song of the Fading Stars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, there's going to be the al almighty Taoist. Yeah. <laughs> Absolute focus. There we go. <laughs> that drone looks like if Slave One grew legs. <laughs> All right, chat. And because of that Song of the Fading Stars, I've, I'm going to change him from a Dire Avenger who does blue to a Dire oh. Avenger who is purple. This isn't, this isn't a drone. This is a dude. Uh, this is a battle Dave, suit. There you go. This is yeah. a uh, stealth battle suit. Stealth battle suit. He doesn't have his arms on yet, but uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it's it's uh, even kind of a than the first contradiction there, you know. So, all right, Mike. Go. Using retributor stealth armor. Suits are pure awesome. bullshit. That's why I'm this using is, them. This uh, is retributor armor has actual pearl nice. in it. Nice. Ooh. So. May I have a brush? Yep. 
Magnificently wow, wow they are they really are space elves. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, the Tau are uh, filthy no-nose chimps. Yep. <laughs> They don't have noses. How the hell do you lock this in the place or Wait, something? Oh, where are like my that. brushes? <laughs> where did I put my... Oh, with, God, they're right in front of me. With gum Chat, gum. you should have said something. They're right here. <laughs> okay. They have uh, a 15 second delay, too. Yeah, I know. Uh, there you go. Thank you. You're going to need water. Will I? Yes. Well. Uh, right. That's that's a very thick one. It's got a lot of... T uh, so even just a little bit of water will help. Rush? Okay, I'll go yeah. get the cup. Yeah, we just got to go. Darling, could you go get the cup? The cup. Only because you're near the open entrance and I don't want to fuck up the cup. Le cup. I will paint on this. Hold them and reveal these Enos. Steve, let's get them. <laughs> Steve, let's get them. Steve, let's get them. Steve, let's get them. Steve, let's Apollon. We'll kill all of the filthy Zenos. The filthy, beefy Zenos. All right. I don't know what we got to start watching Battlestar Galactica again. I know. All right, Plus, what I need. I just put the torso on the one stealth battle suit that has a knife. <laughs> <laughs> a knife. A knife. <laughs> With a knife. So I just this hey, morning yeah, started oh, playing oh. Call of Cthulhu for Xbox. You were saying? Yeah, that was uh, Which, that, that that it is very effectively scary. I, uh, I I have jumped several times. Nice. It's been it's very well done. Damn it! I told Hopefully you, purple not pants shittingly. <laughs> um, uh. Yeah, it, yeah, it's it's fascinating because you got this neat sanity mechanic where. Yep. Uh, your character starts doubting themselves on what they're seeing. He oh, was wading it? through murky green mire. Yeah. May I interrupt? Yeah, 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 go. How do I do this? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Just uh, for out of there, uh, to, so whatever you're using for your pot. Oh, you're painting that gold. Okay. Uh, here. Use, use. Just so it has something else to, so you can water it down on something. Just put that over top of your actual, uh, there. Okay. Um, take a little bit out of the pot first. Um, put it on the pallet, and then take a dab of water and mix the two together. This is yeah. this is hydration uh, paper sheets. Okay. Wait, do you see this? Oh, is that your, uh, your imported uh, from wet Europe? Thing? Wet brushing? It's wet palette, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, so I just put this in the cup and then I sure yeah, little exists. little bit in the cup and then spread it out uh, around the palette so it's got like a uh, a consistency of milk, right? That's so cool. there shouldn't be any bubbles. So it's thin enough. It's got a consistency of milk, and then you just slowly paint it on. That's neat. All right. All right, well, there's a problem. I don't actually have purple, and I need to make this oh. the, this guy the color of the fading stars. <laughs> so I need a... You yes. need some help with this. That right. sounds... Red and... Yeah, it's like I have a really... Should I be priming this? Ooh, I got a really dark blue here. What's that? Should I be priming this? Uh, it could help, but the base uh, colors are thick enough that you don't really need it. So don't worry too much about it. But... That's a primer paint if you are really worried. No, I'm just asking yeah. what will make my, my life yeah. easier. No, no, it should be fine. Still suits are pure bullshit. Yes, Both they are. The Robo gully men. All right. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to do... We're going to use... Hmm. And you know what happened uh, when uh, the Imperium of Man got away with some stealth tech? They upgraded their stealth suits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you ha might have an... Uh, they got away with one helmet. Uh, from a stealth battle suit, and um, yeah, apparently uh, they're like, nope, they 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 know too much. Build better battle stealth battle suits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Well, Lord, uh, well, Lord Sathian, I don't have a magenta. I do have a cyan uh, color. Um, but I've never actually mixed the new contrast paints together. That's really so cool. oh, that's relieving. I'm going to mm. yeah. It's the, the the it's it's got a really hey. thick um. That's cool. uh, I like better back color. I would keep it like this. It's got a really it's thick uh, consistency, so it'll spread well. I wonder if you so instead, I'm going to take the closest CNC. I have to a magenta, which is Flesh Terra's red here, <laughs> and mix it with the blue, and we'll see how this works. But yes, cyan and magenta. We'll see how that works. Flesh Terra, rip and tear, <laughs> eat the rich. What? <laughs> This is the color I used to paint my zombies that I threw up in the craft everyone, check thread. Nice. It's really creepy. It's nice. <laughs> really goopy. I yeah, like it's it. it's really goopy stuff. It's neat. Also, uh, that uh, that sand goopy stuff uh, for the bases mm, that yeah. uh, you uh, showed Jordan yeah. that time. Yes, that's cool. Actually, going to be we're going to be doing um, well. At least these guys. Oh. I've already rolled. I've already decided on their past. I've never really done in terms of bases uh, or terrain. A uh, what's up? Uh, Terror of death. He has not made it in. Uh, they, he was asking if Gridman had ever made it into Super Robot Wars. Uh, not properly. He might have made it into Cross Omega, because all bets are off with that franchise. Because yep. <laughs> Scride's made it into Cross Omega. Scride. 
This guy, dude. Does Doom Guy ever have PTSD? He is PTSD. The PTSD. <laughs> oh my god, he's walking like he's a walking trauma. Yes. <laughs> they made a thing to kill him that was literally spec based off of him, and he keeps killing it. There. Yeah. I need to put. Water Although in I this. do have, I, I'm waiting for Markiplier to play uh, the next Doom, because he did a full playthrough of the uh, the first newest <sighs> Doom, and now there's a second newest Doom. Yeah, Eternal. <laughs> yeah, Doom Eternal. And I want to see Markiplier's playthrough of that, because he had a fucking blast. Yeah, I want to get Doom 2016. Is that the, uh... That's the new... That's the first of the newest ones. Okay, yes. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, <laughs> uh, you okay, buddy? Just stretching my crotch. <laughs> 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 it's happening! I'm not ashamed. <laughs> What's that? That's great entertainment there. <laughs> At least it's not on camera. <laughs> it's just, oh, that's a stretch. <sighs> but yeah, for gluing purposes, I use Gorilla Glue Super Glue, uh, the gel version. Um, it, I find it better when it is a newer uh, vial of it than a older vial because the older vial gets real jelly <laughs> it's like it's, it's like squirting out a little bit of clear preserve real jelly of what hmm? real jelly of what uh let's see he's making a joke Dave. a very bad very bad joke that's all good yeah it's like, it's like a fish. fine old tube of ky you know? <laughs> tips alert you're asking too much of us for our multitasking abilities <laughs> they were crafting. We can't review at the same time. Actually, we probably could. Um, what are um, we reviewing? Uh, he, uh, he's asking about Shadowrun 6 World. I've not actually read the rules. I've just read the uh, beginner box, and I am very happy with how... Uh, what's the, oh, what's the term for... Yeah, it's going to. <laughs> at least for a little bit. I'll hold this one. Thank you. <laughs> hold it down! Hold the door! So that's hold a sponge. Hold the door! Jesus Christ. So it's on a sponge. Oh, oh, no. It's not 2017. We don't have to make that joke anymore. Yeah, yeah we do. <laughs> So that's a sponge, and that's your. Uh, uh, your so this is the, this is a um, it's a sponge that has uh, antibacterial agents in it. Uh, so neat, even so. if so even if you leave it wet for like two weeks, it's not going to grow mold and mildew. That's good. Um, so yeah. I have watered down this paint way too much. Oh no. Then the good thing is you can just add more of the actual paint, and you're fine. It's filling in the gaps. What? No. It should. Dr the water should dry out, and then the pigment goes. Uh. True, but we have several Space Cthulhu and Super Robot Wars. Why not? To do, why not? Just try to get the Space Guy. And move it around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, spread it out. I I really like the beginner box. <clears throat> I think the beginner box has is very approachable. The cool thing about it is you give they give you the characters to play, and they all have very specific roles within the within the uh, within the Shadowrun group, um, and they give you role play cues. Not you must play a character this way, but a background. Role play cues and what your what, what your role is um, in social situations, combat situations, and ex and exploration situations. So if you're new to uh, role playing or or especially new to Shadowrun, you know what you should be doing and what and uh, and at any particular time. You know, I've never played a Shadowrun game. I'd love to give it a shot. Weren't you? So. No, 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 it was, no, yeah, it was, never it was been Scott. In, it was uh, Scott. Uh, ones. Yeah, Scott, Mike, Tom, and Jordan. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. I'd love to give it a try sometime uh, if you're uh, if you're doing uh, either uh, an off stream game or uh, mm. if yeah. uh, you decide to do an on screen on stream game and shuffle up the players because uh, the last uh, on screen on stream game uh, Scott's character died. Yes, so he Scott think. Scott will not be coming back unless it's for an NPC thing. Yeah, <laughs> but or well, at least Scott could be or, his character's uh, not. His character's not. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, no. Well, technically, hang on. He died though. He, yeah. yeah. And Puff said everyone comes back. He but didn't he die. He became canonic. part of the world. Oh right. So he, he so he didn't so much die as he, he did sacrifice himself in body. But he's still technically, physically, he's still yeah. technically physically yeah, there. Because Puff yeah. doesn't didn't undo any transmogrifications. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Spam <laughs> Shadowrun for D twenty twenty. Well said. Well said. Okay. Another is, is that another our game thing for next year? We should call it. We should be calling it the D twenty twenty for the fans. D twenty twenty is for the fans. It's all yeah. the things they've wanted us to do, but we never got around to doing because of the storyline. That's a. Great no idea. shit, really? Yeah. Oh. That's why I'm doing nothing but fan requests of the stuff that they've shipped in because we've never done a lot of them. Oh, uh, shit. I'm, I'm going to be doing Treadvang next year. Or this year if there's a uh, show uh, open. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, the uh, spots open too. Because Dylan's uh, not going to uh, be doing his till after. Oh yes, after his wedding. Yeah. Um, so Jordan wants to get a game. He's. I'm trying to convince him because last time I brought up Shadowrun, I said I wanted to make it 80s trash, and Devin pointed out that's basically what Jordan wanted to do, and he's been hyping and about doing. And Jordan is all about 80s trash. So I'm Shadow trying to get Run. him to do. Sorry, yeah. not Shadowrun. Oh, Cyberpunk. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and um, solo cups with that. And Devin yeah. pointed out to me. So I just said, Jordan, do you want the Cyberpunk books? I have no problem if you run it. If you make it 80s trash. Yes. And I'm guessing he was totally okay with that. He's still deciding about the books, because he hasn't... I don't think he's... Mike, can you reach this? Of course I can reach okay, it. Okay, got it right. I was like, I didn't feel like going up and okay, grabbing another... i push this over here. Yep. So there's no uh, drippage. I, I do think, yes, um... <laughs> uh, I... Crap, I, it wasn't Lord Satan, I think it was Jack. Yes, Jack, I do think your friend who plays Blood Angels, a primarily melee-based army... Made a very poor choice to fight lengthwise on a seven foot table against Tau. Oh my god! Uh, Jesus! Ta Ta oh my god! With no cover? Wait, 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 well, I'm sure there was cover, but the Tau have guns that are, like, you normally play widthwise on a table, where Tau have guns that can shoot from corner to corner, and that's the only reason they would have length that far. So, but they decided to play lengthwise. So, I'm like, so for the first, what, three turns of the game? Yeah. They're getting peppered. They're getting peppered <laughs> yeah. with no retaliation at all. Because jump jet, even if they, you had a full melee jump pack team. They have or to uh, deep striking. Yeah. Um, you My are having a, a rough time. Yeah, you are. Hope is a nine letter word. What is that? Uh, Sam said the nine letters are to refer to the nine players that were in Infinity's End. Yes. That was we all thought game. it was an actual word. Everyone oh, Shadow Crown. Nonsense. Actual word. <laughs> Everyone thought it was Sorry, an Shadow Crown. It's, it's not an actual word. She was being cryptic. Yeah. Because she, because the thing is. Okay. Um, Baba Yaga is yeah, actually crazy. a meta character. She will talk to the audience, not necessarily the players that are in it. So Baba Yaga was saying hope is a nine-letter word to the audience. But the thing is, is that Baba Yaga is not going to acknowledge the audience. She's not going to be like suddenly head turned towards audience and be like, "Did it, did it, did it, did it, right?" She's she's not in there. She's not going to do that. She's going to try and talk to people that are in the world around her while also still talking to the audience because she knows that they exist. Because it's Baba Yaga. Alright, here we go. Baba Yaga. <laughs> My name is Baba Yaga. I'm that rich old granny. I've stolen lots of skin. <laughs> no. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's not wow. a punchline. Wow. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's not a punchline. But she's done it. You know she yes. has. Alright, mix all this up. Get more blue in there. Become purple. You're becoming brown. Stop it. Oh. It's because it's a I think it's because it's a really dark red. I like the effect of uh, the um, of the wet palette. Yeah, that's cool. Now, what? Is, I'm curious what this will turn oh, into. Oh, that's black. That's black. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, let's try this again. Baba Yaga <laughs> let's try this again. To saddle it to the Deadpool Whoopsie and whack easy. him upside the head whenever Ooh. he thinks of something. Whenever he thinks of talking to the reader. Yes. <laughs> Baba Yaga don't do anything. Simply does she? No, she doesn't do anything simple. No, never. Oh, oh, Baba just... Yaga style. <laughs> Opa Yaga style. <laughs> Wait, was that? I've stolen lots of skin. I'm making lunch and barely heard it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that yes. was that, that. That was Mike's joke. <laughs> I'm making. I've stolen lots of skin. That's yes. not a punchline. <laughs> That's not a punchline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Baba Yaga. <laughs> The, the, the Deep Strike team from the Blood Angels died to crude and stealth fire. <laughs> oh, yeah. no! And, and tons of railgun fire. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah that's a thing. It's, yeah. That was, that was a mistake. That, that, was a mistake. That, that was a mistake that required fire support on the extensive level. Yeah. Like, what would you... Okay, here's a the thing, then, Devin. Yeah. How, what would you have in your army to prevent that kind of thing from being a problem? Uh, it, well, it, it, it entirely <laughs> depends on, 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 on one thing. Do you know what you're going up against beforehand? So, like, when my friend Jeff and I play... In Warhammer Fantasy, I know he's playing dwarves. Um, he does have an ogre army, but he rarely plays it. Because so I, I because build. Jeff is the only Asian dwarf I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah the oh, only actual Asian dwarf. And no. I don't mean that like in a little person joke. I mean, no, no. He he is effectively a dwarf. He's very short. Yeah. No, he's built like one. Yeah, he's built like a dwarf. If he was Scottish, people would be like, "Wow, why aren't you just cosplay? Are you cosplaying?" He'd be like, "No." 
This is me. This is just who I am. Yeah. Um, so if I know it, if I knew that I was going up against uh, Tau, then okay, there we go. Now I'm actually getting purple. Hey. Um, uh, if I knew I was going up against Tau, I would actually take a lot of deep striking things. Uh, I would take get things that, 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 that would that would get in there close. That would I would leave the board almost a blank slate for Dave um, in the early turns of the game. Uh, that way he really wouldn't have a whole lot to shoot at, uh, and he really wouldn't have any options. And then on the second or third turns, I would drop in with my forces already in near his front line or in his back line. Yeah. So, uh, but, there was yeah. a question of who here has played the Reign of Winter AP. I have not. I have heard nothing but good things about it, though. The Reign of Winter Adventure Path? Yeah. yeah I haven't uh, I have, I have I heard many good it. things. I have one book of it. Well, we have the PDFs of it. Into it. Uh, all right. Yep. All right. This is actually looking a lot like the GW paint Nagaroth Knight. That's a. It's mm. an excellent purple. All right. That is nice. Done. Done. Oh uh, yeah. There's that. The, what else about? Yeah. So I haven't. Uh, I do know that they've made. Um, you can tell just from the, uh, um, the basic rules that come with Shadow that come with the Shadowrun starter set. That they've made a lot of um, streamlining to the rules, and in a very, in very, in very effective ways. Like you, t uh, you in the old Shadow Run, whenever you'd cast a spell, you have to know how much force you're putting into it because that would determine how you counter spell and what your options are. Here, there is no force. It just it it has a particular set. Um, it has a when it's cast, it has a dispelling amount. If you're going to be doing it, it does a particular amount of strain. Uh, it still offers the choice, but without a, but without without needing to worry about so many different dice rolls. I'm really curious to see how they've done hacking. I haven't looked into it yet, but I've been told it's a lot easier what? to work with. Chocolate. Yeah, tablet. looking forward to it. Tablet. Yeah. <sighs> On a totally different subject, I just had a great idea for a story that revolves around. Persephone and Izanami meeting in the underworld. Mm. How would you yeah. write that? How would I write that? Yes. Well, because the problem is the Persephone story I'm reading right now is a webcomic that talks about how her and Hades met up for the first time, but it's done like a Aww. modern romance drama. Uh, I think I've seen... A what uh, romance drama? A modern romance drama. Oh, okay. I think I've right. seen uh, snippets of that. Yeah. Uh, it's called Love, Love Olympus, I want to say. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's where my headspace is about Persephone right now. Oh. Because I'm battled, I'm torn between the two of them saying, either being best friend, besties or arguing over who's the baddest bitch in the block. <laughs> Neat. I love Lore Olympus 2. I, mean, I love it too. There's parts, there's parts of its design I don't care for though. But I, it's, it's very sweet and it's very well-meaning. And I'm, I'm like, where are we going? <laughs> with, with a lot of stuff here. I'm like... What Apollo, is this plot? I mean, Apollo's. She's very obsessed with making not no one the bad guy, except for maybe Apollo, because what he does is really shitty. Hmm. I probably shouldn't leave my paints open like this, but meh. Makes it easier to work with. Yeah. Chain gun. Ba -do 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 -do. You might I saw him use the same army. It's a magnetically accelerated can. How did well, Shadowcron? How did it? Uh, how did he do competitively with that force? That's what I'm curious about. Yeah, uh, how did yeah. he fare up uh, yeah. against uh, uh, Tau and Crute? And I'm actually really curious how how you're going to be in Kill Team because um, it's a word we're building. Like Kill Team is played on to give the audience context is normally well. Sorry. Warhammer is normally played on a six foot by four foot table, big whereas old table. big old table, uh, and Tau usually line up near the back of the table or in a lot of cover. Kill Team is usually played on a three foot by three foot square table, um, with a lot of terrain. Um, so that's probably how you're going to be playing it. But I would just uh, it will be interesting to see. Are there cover rules? Lots. Thank goodness. Yes. Um, so I'm using yeah like. He went one and six. And, whoops! <laughs> Ouch! Yikes! What's up? That uh, oh, his his friend with that same Blood Angel army won once and lost six times. Oh no! <laughs> I'm like, ooh, ooh, that uh, that's, that hurts. Uh, yeah, that, that's uh, that, that's, that's hurting a... the pride of the Blood Angel uh, chapter. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ouch! 
Uh, but uh, do the Blood Angels do have much in the way of deep striking? or? Uh, do, oh, they do. They, they, they have all the same options. See, Space Marines have lots of options. Some guy's head. They, they just got, surprise, surprise, is another Kodak actually recently. really good at deep striking? Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, the, um, what was I going to say? The, the Space Marines got yet another Codex. Surprise, surprise. Released last month. Um, well, with and, it being uh, the flagship product, uh, product and yeah, uh, with the, they're yeah. only you know on all the boxes, yeah, yeah. right. Um, what and, do you uh, mean Hasbro had made another Optimus Prime? <laughs> <laughs> There's only ten of them out now. So it's a, and they have uh, even more options now. Now they have multiple Primaris options for uh, for for deep striking. Um, yeah, there's a. Actually, what was it? Um, there's a new Primaris figure that came out that basically is a Space Marine version of the mech that Ellen Ripley uses in Aliens. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like a Dreadnought, but without the tomb on it. Yes, it's a, yeah, yeah, you it, take the tomb off of a Dreadnought and surround it with, like, girders and things. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This and kind of looks a power like, loader. Yeah, exactly. So it looks like a... Um, like, it much looks more like, like Ellen Ripley's Ripley. yeah. uh, 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 power loader. And, and, and I can just sort of picture a Space Marine putting balls to the wall and be like, come at me! I've got absolutely no armor between you and you, you and your, me and your guns. I'm just imagining him, him uh, getting into it for the first time. He's like, "Is this heresy?" <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm like, "This is a dreadnought and yet not." This kind of looks like, and people were saying it actually looked like the Imperial Guard Sentinel Walker, but it's oh, yeah, just yeah. one of those. Yeah, I love those too. Yeah. So the side, so the cyan plus zombie flesh, a failed plan. <laughs> uh, we were forcing. Oh, did you get a chance? Or are to we forcing Brown to work for them? No, no, no. Uh, it's the uh, the cyan and not zombie flesh, but it's the uh, I'm using a I'm using crystal blue uh, water paint and I'm using um, a fist and red base paint. So I can I'm doing that because I can put a lot of medium in it. It's they're very thick paints, so I can put a lot of medium, help them mix and blend properly without losing the color. But uh, so it's working out well. It's actually looking like. A ba and a purple, yeah, it's a normal nice purple. purple base paint. Uh, so I'm gonna keep so. trying it with the. Yeah. Yep. It's purpley. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Let me see it. Kevin, did you get a chance to watch that uh, video I uh, sent you uh, from? Um, I think it was Remy. Are you talking about the the Warlock 40K. video? Forty uh, K. Uh, it, it was the one with the Titans. Or, the the Titan and the uh, Sentinels. I don't recall. Oh wow! Oh nice. Really? I don't know if that's good or not. No, that's quite good. Yeah, it's really even because I'm not. Oh no, no, it was. It's not a. It's yeah. No, I don't see any. I don't see any brush strokes on it. That's even. That's it done. That's good. Yeah, that's my first paint job. Yeah. Yay! Yay! No, do you want to keep the red in the inside, like the the three? I don't. No, I don't want to because I don't want to keep the magenta in because I don't want that to be like the really color. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe if I get a red print, yes. Right. And do okay. it a lot lighter, but no, I wanna I wanna try and get this as evenly the same color as I can. Okay. All while right. we're yep. doing this today. Yep. And then I can come back and work on it, right? Yep, exactly. Uh yeah, so you really for that can't then see the brush strokes, can you? Add in a drop of that. That way it can actually get in the recesses of that stuff. So to so use the same base paint. That's a thinner, right? But yeah, it's a it's a it's a thinner, it's a medium. Yeah. Okay. So, so. add in so put like two drops of the gold on your palette and then a drop of that medium. Um, it okay, will so thin two it. drops of gold. Yep, two drops of gold. One, yep. two. I don't know if I did that right. Two scoops of raisin. I wasn't watching, Kellogg's but it looks, looks right. Yep. Okay. Well, and that's now, we'll do up. me a favor and rinse the yeah, rinse that brush, and then put a then put a set. Just scoop up some medium and run it in there. Um, it'll look a little runnier than the rest of the, than the rest of the gold, but it will actually go into the crevices. But uh, in oh, that video, I have little source from my. Actually, this. This I'm painting is, if you know your Transformers lore, is the symbol of the 13 Primes. Sam did up a 2D version of it from based on the... Uh... Yeah, let me grab it. Bye. If I counted my whole 40k tile, po uh, tile point total, I was gearing up to a 5,000. Damn! Woo! That's, what, uh... that, was, that, was the, that was the kind of size of game we were playing whenever we were in university and had the t and had the time to do it. Oh, fine. Now, Je now, Je now Jeff and I struggle to get through like a 2,000 point game in a single evening. And just think, you could just be yeah. playing here. Could be. On could stream. Be. Yeah. We, would, uh, we will be in Kill Team and it'll be a lot easier. Yeah. 13. Uh, pre or post Shroud, Mike? Of what? They said 13 primes. Post. Post, post Shroud. Post. There you go. There's your answer. 
But yeah, in in that video I sent you, uh, it has uh, it has one Amal- Warhound Log- Titan. Logos Prime is oh. on here. Of course, and it's Bo Shroud. A bunch of uh, what do you call them? Sentinels. <clears throat> Sentinels. Yeah. And yeah. they're running around the feet of the Warhound Titan, and it, it, yeah. it looks like a mother and her babies. <laughs> Ian. So that's that's the photo I did of it. Oh wow! They do move. Ian Lund, Very don't cool. guess what I'm doing. That's neat. Please don't I guess like what I'm doing, Ian Lund. They're called the Pact. So that's the photo I did up uh, for Mike. Because that's based on the the all the, the primes. Yeah. The, the original thirteen primes. The original thirteen primes, and that there, there's an actual logo for it um, on the boxes. But the thing is, is that they didn't have a good. Uh, print of it, so I had to basically go over it and be like, this is what it looks like. Sam, can you scroll up a bit? I think there was a question that, that we missed. Oops. Um, Not that that won't happen more often as it, as we get bigger, but yeah. did you ever let your friends borrow your brushes to paint? Oh yeah, okay. Well, uh, it's happening right now. To, uh, and they forgot to rinse them clean. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> um, that happened all the time in university, and I just saw it as a price to pay by trying to try and get my friends into uh, <laughs> At that point, they just, you just gave them a gift of brushes. I that? just gave them a gift of brushes and said, here, clean it. Um, but the, the reason that I'm not worried too about it is because I knew Mike was going to be using my brushes, so I just brought brush cleaner. Um, I should have brought mine. That would have worked out well, too. So it was, it was more what I knew it was about to happen. I think I got super glue on my shirt. No. See, Lord Safety, and that's the thing that I was that Mike's painting because he printed it, so... <clears throat> Uh, Mike, have you read the Retro 60 style Transformers vs. G.I. Uh, G. G. Joe. Joe series from IDW? I have. Uh, it's I, The problem is the best part of it is Snake Eyes and how they explain Snake Eyes' backstory. I, I frequently quote his uh, his line about fire and time to Jordan, and Jordan just gets the shivers every time. Because uh, the idea is Snake Eyes never says anything, and you think he's the way he always was. And then he fights Storm Shadow for the first time. And uh, he gets badly burned. He has to get back into the field in a hurry. So he lights his face on fire. Ooh. Ooh. To seal himself back up. Okay. And uh, co- he puts basically a balaclava on his face. And he's in, um, he's in an old, um, he's in an old um, <laughs> castle. Yeah. Steals the visor off of a knight. And just mounts it to the front to cover his eyes. Uh, and okay, that's it. cool. And that's how he gets the look that he does. And huh. I've never seen an explanation that made more sense than that. What just happened? I'm like, ah, what just happened? Ah, no. Uh. Ian, you can swear, it's fine. Yeah, we cuss all the time, motherfucker. <laughs> Case in point. Now it's forced. The magic is ruined. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> mix, 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 mix. There we go. Now we're getting it. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Can I actually get this, get this model done instead of just effing around with color and trying to figure out what to do, how to get it? There we go. That's better. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah, so they, these these guys, I ended up rolling up separately the world that they come from. It's a swamp world. Oh. It's a bog. So when I first rolled that up, I thought, ah, oh, that's boring. I don't want to do, I don't want to do dreary looking jungle. And then I uh, looked up um, a national park go. that existed that exists in the U.S. Uh, southern U.S. I'm blanking on the state that it was, and it is some of the most beautiful swampland. And, like, I didn't think that swampland could actually look attractive, mm. but it's just all these gorgeous leaves that are hanging down over to, to uh, over the water. Um, the water is a lot cleaner than you'd expect it to be because of all the algae. And like, oh, oh, okay, I can work with this. Sam, are there any Yes, current... there you go. Thank you. Are Thank you. It was Florida. Anime series... Everglade National Park. Are there yeah, any current anime series that you're able to squeeze in some time to watch? Okay, now, this is the thing. I don't really watch or read anything unless I'm at Mike's place. Genlock. Because I don't do anything at home other than sleep. Or do my own work. Right? Genlock is really good. Okay. Uh, it's the not one, anime. <laughs> the one anime that I have been watching and the and the manga that I've been reading for it is Kaguya-san wants to be confessed to. And I blame Mike for this because he got me into it and I'm mad because it's good. <laughs> he just does this to me because now I'm mad invested and I good. want things to be good and I'm just like... They got together. No, I know they good. got together, but it was just... It took so long. Spoilers. <laughs> Jesus. It, it took so long. long. Why? 
Because, okay, the premise of the show is there is the president and the vice president of the student council. And, like, and a everyone, super rich school. And, they're like, a super rich school. And everybody looks at the two of them and goes, oh, are they dating? Because they're, like, so close and they, they work so well together. At which point, the two of them look at each other and go, yes. Why would I ever date this other person? But if they confess to me, that would totally be okay, and I might consider dating them. <laughs> to the point where it just progresses to, I'm not going to wait for them to confess to me. I'm going to make them confess to me. So that way, we'll go out together. And I'm like, oh my god. And it's take it takes forever. It takes like 135 chapters for them to confess to each other. And I'm like, fuck sakes, guys! <laughs> <laughs> so a typical Japanese school year. <laughs> it takes them 130. Like it was a hundred. No, not 130. It's like 150 chapters before they confess to each other. Well, and they then, confess early on. They confess at 130. They confess at 130. They get together at 150. Uh. So like it takes another 20 chapters for them to get together. And now it's like, uh, ah, yeah. so well, <laughs> it takes so long. Uh, I'm talking about, uh, just to answer people's questions, because they, they, they come up. I'm talking about, apparently, the mangrove swamps in the Florida Keys. Ooh. Um, that's, the, that's what I've been finding pictures for. Uh, but I am now going to look up the Okef. Scroll up again. <laughs> Nani. Nani. Uh, oh. Okefenoki. All right, spell that for Oki me. Okefenoki. Okefenoki. O-K-E-F-E-N. O-K-E-E. Okie-finokie. Okie-finokie swamp. Okie-finokie. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. See, we got people in swamps. Florida, so they can just tell you where it is. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's surreal. Oh, that is surreal. That oh. looks so cool. When you're passing <coughs> through and you're the only... It's like, oh, this looks like a pool table. Poke. That's water. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, I don't have to stretch that over 100 chapters. Oh, it's actually really well written. But yeah, so that's these guys are going to be coming from swamplands. That's they they are. That's cool. It's an exodite world. It's a maiden. It's a maiden world. We're going to do all sorts of terrain mm. of fallen Eldari statues from before Slanesh decided to devour all of them. And yeah, but these guys are part of a. They're not a craft world. They are based on an exodite world. So what kind of anime does so. watch does, Net, does Nautica's watch? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Honestly. <laughs> I have, I'm actually not going to lie, a bit of a toku shipper. <laughs> Onk XOs, buddy. We'll get there. All right. Define for the audience what a to what, what is they a know. toku shipper. They know. They know. They okay. know. They know what a toku shipper is? Okay. All right. Onk, X to Onk, Onk XOs. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> the show's over. <laughs> They're still ZIO and we'll have another show in 10 years and they'll get together. <laughs> Don't crush a girl's dreams! <laughs> Not because has a hentai collection, doesn't he? Of course. <laughs> I way. am the hentai collection. It's hot. It's hard to have a hentai collection when you outpace hentai. Outpace it. <laughs> <laughs> like that was it. Like the stuff that's out now for hentai was it's five. Just, it was five years ago for me. It's so fucking nineteen ten. Surprise, Nautica's cameo. <laughs> Dave, have you ever seen the dagger designs that Shadow Crown is making for you? Uh, I've seen early ones. I haven't seen uh, later ones. All right. Uh, so I'll have to take a look. Post them in uh, the craft check thing, and I'll check them uh, today. Uh... Toku shippers a person who ships Toku's out. It's a character. Different... They got it. <laughs> yep. Okay. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Mainly common Riders, going? Super Sentai, and Ultraman characters. <laughs> Devine. <laughs> You're going See, here's in. the thing. You guys have to suffer with the there original plot line. <laughs> I can go to different worlds and fix things. Fix things. Tenshi Moyo has an ending, by the way. What? I made it. <laughs> Nauticus, you have multiverse. Of I thought first I'd have him uh, aiming, I but do. now I'm uh, got yeah, him uh, says, landing. Hi, hi, Cartoon oh, Nice. Hey, Kelly. Boom. All right, I'm gonna let this these dry for a bit because I've been painting it nonstop and <laughs> yeah. I haven't let it dry. Nauticus watches Kill a Kill and hates the action parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, good stuff. It's really just teasing. All right, you lied. Speaking of infinite end, <laughs> infinity's <laughs> end, we still need a full story about Baba Yaga and Nauticus. Also, Dave, it's the same design, the same ones I designed. I posted a while back. Okay, yes, yes, I have seen them. They are very neat. Why did everyone get so interested in my mother? She's just my mother. It's not great. She eats babies. I'm aware. I grew up on it. 
She has so much skin that isn't hers. It's yes. Just, it's not great, guys. It's not great. It's not a happy story. It's just... Mom helped Dad find the new world, and I was born. <laughs> there. That's, that's all you need to know. Oh, Stop right. asking me. All right. One of us got to grow up around Mom. That was... That was my brother, David. And one of us got to grow... Yeah, his... Uh, uh, Methuselah's real name is David. Oh, okay. And, and I got to grow up around Dad! Who was? <laughs> That's a secret. You gotta figure it out. Damn yeah. it. Uh, then there was the time someone, that Joey... Someone Lawrence in the chat already has it. Has already guessed it, yeah. I, when people guess it, they ask me direct and I can... Uh, so now <laughs> his dad was Lee Erickson. <laughs> um, all right. The purple, <laughs> the purple, she is done. Nice. All right. Now, now that so there's a world where you fix Common Rider Fives. Yes. You must yes. take me to that world. I need a world where Kiba doesn't didn't turn kill evil. Kazaka isn't an asshole. I didn't fix that. I just stopped talking to me from being an idiot for five seconds. My and God, did shit get done? A fusion <laughs> cannon. Alakis, what's your thoughts on Rasputin? People keep asking me my thoughts on my half brother. The thing you have to understand about Rasputin is. He has a kind really of, catchy song. He's mom's favorite, all right? <laughs> <laughs> he's pouting. He's pouting. Well, he's the one who took most after mom. Good job, chat. You he made Nauticus pout. <laughs> Little. Well, yeah, that's not outside of his realm. Fucking hell. He's always her favorite. Look, I slept with the entire Russian family, too. They didn't die when I was done. <laughs> <laughs> But my brother does it, and oh, look at that! He's fancy! <laughs> I fucking hate Rasputin. Such an asshole. <laughs> Is Dragon Prince the Netflix show that I have yet yeah. to see? Okay. It's made by the same guys who made Avatar. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. Whoa, it's, it's, on my, it's on my list of things to watch. I've seen literally one. Uh, Tom White's the only guy I know who's seen it, and yeah. he did not dig it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. These guys are kidding. But Tom bigger. also didn't enjoy Flash, so. Okay, alright, yeah. <clears throat> These guys are getting bigger. They're getting... Why are they getting bigger? <laughs> right, I, like, I kind guy. of like that. That's kind of not because his deal with Rasputin. <laughs> Two of us slept with the royal family. Only one of us got him killed. <laughs> so Rasputin is, mama's, is a mama's boy? Yes, he is! Hey, mom. Sorry, he's got a Russian accent. Hello, mother. <laughs> I brought you thing. I'd bring her nice things, Fabergé eggs, and then she just transmogrifies a new one. And breaks mine. You, you brought her the, the, the mechanical legs. I did! <laughs> she wears them. Mm -hmm. But yet she still had a... Yet, she, yet Rasputin but is Rasputin still her favorite. But Rasputin brought her a child. <laughs> I don't even know where he got it! <laughs> <laughs> Whose kid is that? I don't know. That's Whose amazing. Whose child is Whose this? child did Whose you bring? Child? Why did I say, Mom, this kid might not even be important. She said it's what he does that matters. Fucking hell. We're learning also. We're learning so much about it. <laughs> Mike, I have a question. Do you improvise Nauticus's background? Yes. Excellent. How do you keep track of it? I don't. <laughs> That's what my thing is for. Has chat Did ever... you save Anastasia Nauticus? I tried. Didn't make it. So have you... Yes, I saved her. I was there. So has chat ever caught you in a uh, in a mix-up? You were the train pulling out of the station. It was. Everybody, go watch Disney or uh, Fox's Anastasia. It was that Anastasia? It's Anastasia. Yeah. yeah, that was yeah. Fox, right? Yeah, it's Fox's the... Anastasia cartoon or uh, 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 animated movie. Film. Yeah, that's the film picture I was pulling out. Thing. Oh my God! It does pull out. <laughs> And it left a revolution in its wake. Well, you know, you had to get out of there. <laughs> Canon established. Yep. <laughs> but um, don't tell Fox. As for how I keep track of Nauticus's <laughs> stuff, it works because Nauticus's stuff is fun. Yeah. Plus, okay. I have a document of it. Okay. All right. Um, because I I joke I joke that Nauticus is the reason the soap Super Bowl exists because whoever <laughs> because the thing is the Super Bowl is full of all these... I, I thought it was a funny joke that the Super Bowl was so full of hetero guys. Yes. But if you win the Super Bowl, the whole team gets a night with Nauticus. Oh, Jesus. wow. Oh, wow. And he jokes that he's the reason Peyton Manning's won five times because the little bastard's thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, wow. Perfect. Oh, shit. 
it's once wow. once every year I go down. I have my way with a whole team. They're all bla- they all get blasted as shit because they're drunk as hell. And impressing a drunk athlete is easy. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring in Lenin Nauticus? I didn't. That was Rasputin. <laughs> he thought it was funny. Such an asshole. So many things he did wrong. Okay. There. Got high on opium and said. I'm going to change the government. And I said, don't do that. Watch me, motherfucker. Mike means Tom Brady. Oh, sorry, Tom Brady. I think Peyton Manning is... We've, we've, been, around, we've been around a friend, friend who, too who long. Who does not shut up about Peyton Manning. Who does Manning. not shut up about Peyton yeah, Manning. Tom Brady. I'm oh, sorry, I mean Tom Brady. There we go. Look how big these guys are. <laughs> are yeah. these bastards? That's fine. They don't even have faces ah. yet. <laughs> yeah, we have a friend who literally thinks Peyton Manning can do no it, wrong. Well, is yeah. a god. Is a god. I'm yes. man. Do I know this friend? And therefore is the only one who can keep up with Nauticus? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but, um... No, no worries, John. I need to get that right. I'd like to get Peyton Manning out of my fucking Yeah, these head. are regular Tau in battle suits. Very so, large battle suits. Yeah, well... Yep. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a dick is Rasputin? <laughs> well, this goes up to 11. <laughs> not in the fun way, either. <laughs> See, because Rasputin's the kind of guy... You gotta understand about Rasputin. He's kind of like the Joker without the sense of humor. Uh-oh. <laughs> here's, what, here's, what, here's what Gregory will do, okay? Acid bath joker, or I've had a really bad day joker? No, no, here's what he'll do. He, this is what he'll think is funny. Oh, the Joaquin He'll Phoenix. go... He'll go to Christopher Columbus and say, Hey, Chris, do you know what you haven't tried before? Diseases. And he'll <laughs> laugh his ass off for a week about it. <laughs> he did that! <laughs> I, like, I like the look of the Joaquin Phoenix uh, joker. But I like the what real you bad did with day. getting the yep. Czech Legion out of Mark Hamill like, Joker. Stop, stop adding stuff, guys. I don't know everything about the Russian Revolution. <laughs> so Mark, this is Mark Hamill Joker. Uh, Mark, Ham, uh, Mark said, Hamill. Mark Hamill Joker no is, uh, is is always the animated jo- or uh, yeah. the uh, the really jokey Joker. Well, the yeah. laughy Joker. I'm so excited that there has been leaked images of a new Arkham game. By the way. Oh, what there is? Yes. Really? Yes. I'm like, I'm not sure how they're going to continue that story, but that's okay, because it's another Arkham game. Yay. And I've replayed Arkham City a good four times now. Nice. Arkham Knight I only played once because I hated all the stuff that they forced down your throat with the Batmobile. You loved Arkham Knight. I remember every no, time no, I do. No, no, no. Every time. No, no, no. You, you were around me for the first two weeks and I was like, this is so good. Hey, this oh, is wait. So great. Now and they introduced the Batmobile. And then I'm like, and then I'm watching the reviews yeah. and I'm like, are you sure, David? It's going to be great, Mike. Don't stymie me like you always yeah, do whenever I look up the reviews of something. Like, no, all right. Don't it, three weeks later. How's it doing, man? Shut up, Mike. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Mike. Oh my god. Oh yes. 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 I would play that. I would, yes. would get me back on the Arkham franchise. Yes. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would play that. I would play the fuck out of that. In fact, I when I play Arkham City, I use the Batman Beyond skin. Because yeah. it's just fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, no. That's it's great. just um yep. you don't the Batmobile is uh Terry is mobile and it flies Terry around so we can recharge and restock all this stuff. Yep, yep. Love um it. you can call it in if you need to, but you really shouldn't if you're doing an infiltration stuff. Yep. Oh, that would be so cool. That would be so easy to make, too, on that engine. On that engine, yeah. They yeah, sound like the Batman who laughs. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm not a fan of the Batman who laughs, if I can be honest. I, I've seen art for that, and it is weird. Because it's... The problem is... My problem with the Batman who laughs is it really feeds the... It really feeds the idea that Batman's the strongest member of the DC Universe. Really? Well, have you heard the story behind the Batman who laughs? Not really, no. Okay, the idea is... Um, Right. That there's Try a multiverse. Contrast paint. The idea is that there's so many multiverses in the DC universe. There's so many where the Batman's gone crazy oh, okay. and took down the Justice League. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, down. okay, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, there's one, like there's one where he merged with Barry to get the Speed Force to save his parents. <laughs> okay, like there's so many. Um, the Batman who laughs is basically Batman who's take who Joker turned into him. Turned into him. I see. Okay. All right. <clears throat> right. Yeah, I've I've seen the, the art where it looks like he's in uh, like uh, the uh, Iron Mask or uh, something like that, yeah. and he's got a um, studded uh, band around his eyes or something. Yeah, spike band around his eyes. Yeah, yeah. Because the idea is that it's Gosh, Bruce, this is right? Working so well. And like yeah, on okay. the one hand, a Bruce that succumbed to the Joker toxins and is thinking like the Joker is a frightening idea. Yes. Yep. Yeah. But I don't want to see a jokerized batman that batman says he's i can't beat him he thinks just like me he's too scary and dangerous like dude call the league yes call the league superman will knock him out and they'll throw him in the phantom zone it'll be a good day 
<laughs> it'll be a good day. It'll be a good day. Yeah. Yeah. It won't even be thick. We'll get lunch. Euros. You know, it'll, it'll be, be great. great. <laughs> Just call the friggin' league for once. Yeah. Um, but Gotham, don't team but up Gotham up. is my city. No, I have to do the one thing he'd never think I'd do. I have to team up with the Joker. This plan has flaws. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yep. He'll think of everything I think of. He's crazy, Bruce. <laughs> but... Do I look like a guy who's got a plan? No, Bruce, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he looks, and he does look like a ripoff of Judge uh, Death from Judge Dredd. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh okay, all right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was a little there. And it's just um, like if I, I'm trying. You to think mean how... Carl Urban Senpai? Yeah. No, not not Judge. Dread, death. Well, Judge Death. Sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he looks just like Judge Death, and the design yeah. is so similar. You're like, guys, this is all you did. You made Judge Death. Um, and I'm trying to think how you would make Batman a, like a Jokerized version of the Batman. Because you can't just. We have to recruit the Bat. He's you, he's outshining us. Because <laughs> you wouldn't just like. I what wouldn't if even just show what he him? looks like when he's in the zone. I would just have him look normal. Yeah. All the time, right? And it's just under... And you just see his handiwork, and he just looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and, and I agree, guys. It's the... the DC well, is never lets go of different variations of the Justice League is evil. Yeah. Because they all think that they can... Every new iteration is, a, is an actual original iteration, when it's really not. Yeah. It's a lot of the same diatribe and a lot of the same stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry to see the Justice League is evil. No one wants it. No. Have any of you ever heard of the White Knight storyline with DC wrote? I actually like that one. Uh, okay. The idea is, um, what would happen if the Joker finally made himself sane? Oh, oh, okay. And the they had to change a couple things about the canon. Uh, they had to say the Joker never killed anyone. Okay. Because otherwise they would have said, that's great, you're saying you've killed so many people, now you're legally liable, right? Yes, yeah. Where he was more just a mayhem villain. And it's... It's interesting, it's actually really well written, and you think they're going to go down the route of Batman's just crazy? Uh, and he's not. Joker's trying to convince the city that he's crazy. Uh, because if he rallies the city... Sorry, um, Jack Napier. Yes. He's trying to rally the city against Batman. Okay. And feed off of their the mistrust they've always had. That so they've they always trust had him, him yeah. better. So he can save the city from their cycle. From their cycle. Wow, I like that. Yeah. That's a neat idea. Hi, Carabaros. Hello. Hello. You know, like, right. The problem is, and this, and I've made this statement many times... The comic book industry as a whole is obsessed with Batman The Dark Knight Returns without understanding what the hell that comic is about. Yes. Yeah. Because the comic is entirely about what happens when Batman finally loses control between his sense of vengeance and his sense of what's, morally, of what's right. morally right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, agreed. And but, it's and it's such a cool concept, but it's almost like they're they, they are taking that concept and saying, well, How shocking can we be in the application of this premise? Well no, this they I would say they're in love with the idea of I'm the one, the only one who beat you. Yeah. Which yeah. was never a thing before that. How you doing, babe? Tired? A little bit. You're doing great, champ. <laughs> You're doing okay. You seen the new Joker trailer? Thomas Wayne's not a, as virtuous either in the movie. I'm tired. I'm fucking tired of them taking apart Thomas Wayne to... Tommy Wayne. Wait, what new trailer? Uh, the new Joker trailer. Because people are... The, the reviews are coming out for Joker. And, oh my god, is this film becoming divisive. Wait, so Thomas Wayne is is Thomas Wayne an enemy of the Joker in the in Apparently. this? Oh, oh, please don't tell me he's the talk show host. I don't know. I really that, that would make no sense. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you don't need uh, what's his name, Robert De Niro. Honestly, anything. frankly, I don't give a shit about being sympathetic with the Joker. I don't either. You, you, you shouldn't need to be sympathetic with the Joker. Well, here's the thing. I, I figured this out. I had this argument with Sam before we went oh, to that party last good. night. I like that. Um, not an argument, but I had this discussion with her. And I said, yeah. the problem with the Joker is how the look, how people have looked at mental health over the mm -hmm. years. Because mm -hmm. once upon a time, a crazy person in the 1930s, when he first was born, yeah. was a frightening thing. Yep. But as we become more and more tolerant of mental health, yep. people keep coming back to the Joker being crazy, right? Yes. Yeah. And that's a problem because then he's someone who's sick and needs help and na 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 na. And Batman's beating up a poor sick person. Sick person, right? Yeah. And White Knight does cover that very well. Yep. Yeah. Right? Where Bruce is like, this is so great that we're pro mental health. It's the Joker, guys. Yeah. He's manipulating us and he proves it too. Cool. Yeah. Well, actually, he says to the Joker, if you want to 
Unfortunately, the Joker's actions by stopping Batman causes worse things to happen oh, without him. Okay. And he says, I need your help. And Bruce says, you want me, you confess to everything you did. Right. Because so it becomes like, need... a, like a Mistborn book two and three scenario. What happens when you... <laughs> when, yeah. When you get rid of the, the bad guy. Yeah. Worst bad guy things happen. Yeah. yeah. Um... Where was I? And the, and Hello, argued, Andrew Price. I've argued, and I've argued for years, that Joker should not ever really be crazy. Okay. He should be pretending... What? Because if you look at how everyone's always depicted the Joker... Yeah. He's never been... He doesn't act like a real crazy person. Mm -hmm. He's fully aware of his surroundings. We're just reading a comment. Yeah. Funny, Big Mike's talk on the, on the Joker as Joaquin Phoenix in interviews took the role in a path of reading up... On assassins and guys like past serial killers for Joker's mentality and reasonings. So we watched Mindhunter. And enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. But like, you have to... Joker has to be damaged in a way people doesn't under, don't understand. And can't be defined by typical psychosis. Yeah. Yeah. You can't have him be someone who's suffering. Because then you generate pity for someone... And the audience is going to turn around and be like, Well, look at what happened to him. I feel yeah. bad for him. Right? If you turn around and say, Joker says, I'm not crazy, guys. Yeah. I'm in full control of what I'm doing, and I like it. And I like what I'm doing, yeah. You can't understand that. No. And that goes back to that original thing of people didn't always understand mental illness. <laughs> when you adapt something like the Joker, the sympathy card needs to be taken off the table. With the amount of people the Joker has killed over the year, there's no sympathy. <laughs> like, mm. yeah, yeah, he's a monster. Yeah, he's a monster. And, and I've always found the, the idea of, like, you you can't understand the Joker because he's beyond understanding and beyond analysis. analysis. Yeah, because... And he defies analysis by rebranding and reshaping himself because his concept is to take down chaos. Or, to, no, take down order. Yeah. Like, you, there there is no order to him because he refuses to admit that there is order in anything. Yeah. He just, so you he's can't actually him. create yeah. sympathy for someone because you can't understand what they're doing. Yeah. He's just, he's just there. He's that, yeah. like, I, I, like, in, in spite of my criticisms of the Nolan films, he was, him in there was the best, Whoa. one of the oh, best right. depictions. One of the them. best depictions, yeah. All right, now I need brown. I quite like how this worked. So I'm trying to, I needed a dark base color for the wraith bone, the psychic substance that is basically just, what, what's a good way of putting it? Okay. It's um, plastic that reacts to psychic energy and hardens like uh, steel, uh, harder than steel. So this is the base of the Edge Lord leader with that. Uh, damn it, light! It's a non-Newtonian solid. Yeah, uh, the light is awkward this yeah. morning. It's always awkward. There we go. There we go. The purple and the base of the wraith that? bone. Ah. Uh, Carrie Barrows wants to know yeah. how. Their comic collectors and what their favorites are. My favorite comic of all time is and always will be Kingdom Come. Deliverance? It will be done. <laughs> well, the DC comic Kingdom Come. Oh, okay. I don't think I've done. ever read that one. Oh, it's so good. It's it deals with the DC because it's I argue it's more valid it it's more valid as we go forward because it says the idea is that the DC heroes have all retired and the next generation's up to bat. Yeah. But the problem is the next generation's way more fucking violent than they used mm. to be. Okay, yeah. But that's the problem is the criminals are too. Mm. Mm -hmm. And it's how it's what happens when the old generation tries to come in. And it's right. all told through the lens of revelations from the Bible. Oh, okay. And it works. Huh. It's, the art's all done by Alex Ross. I love it. I just, I nice. love it. It's because it's... Because they find Superman's replacement, right? Yeah. Like, the guy yeah. comes in. And he hates his job so much. Okay. And Superman says, this is what you did. He says, I know what I did! Arrest me! <laughs> okay. He's a big boy. He's a big boy, yeah. Uh, to answer, to, to, to <laughs> answer um, uh, the question that's out there, I am not a comic book... I'm a comic book fan, but I'm not a comic book collector. I have three very close friends outside of the D20 Live crew uh, who do obsessively collect comics. So most of the time, I just have conversations with them. Uh, and learn it. Dave, are you, uh, are you now or have you ever been a comic book collector? I can neither confirm nor deny. Yes, I, I, I do collect comic books now and again. It comes in waves. Depends on what I see comes out there. Like, I was really all about uh, the uh, the Hawkeye series. Oh, I've got were. all of those. 
and uh, then I uh, was picking up the uh, the Star Wars uh, comics, uh, a couple of those, the new ones. Yeah. Uh, to bridge the um, the original trilogy and the newest trilogy. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, the Princess Leia ones are fantastic. Yeah. Who are they? Because everyone um, just doesn't stop talking about the Vader ones. Well, yeah, the Vader one is uh, out of control. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but oh, sorry. No, no, um, no worries. But uh, yeah, every once in a while, I find a comic book that I'll go after. Okay. Um, yeah. And that's that's uh, like I don't have dailies. I don't have uh, a box anywhere. Uh, right. Uh, so. Oh, and Atomic Robo. And Atomic Robo, because how can you not? <laughs> <laughs> Although I'm really behind on Atomic Robo because I haven't been able to find a trade in ages. I, I think they've stopped for a while. Yeah, the only the, the only comic that I there are comics that I collected for a chunk of my life was in university whenever I was really interested in manga. But aside from that, no, it's uh, I I have m- more often I'm more of a uh, video game tabletop RPG wargaming yeah. uh, <laughs> fan than I am a, than I am a comic fan. But I have used the internet. To since play catch up as I said like like I will use the internet to get comics in various forms and start reading them. Now. <laughs> the the, the faces, new Spider-Man's the a gift. Yeah, they all have faces now. Where, there we go. I have only collected one comic book oh. series, and I Real haven't even tate. done a really Real good job day. of doing that. Uh, the only. <sighs> The only comic book series that I've ever collected has been Witchblade. Okay. Oh, and yeah. I really like the lore and story of Witchblade. I don't like the writing all the time. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Tell him, Sam. Uh, okay, because... Tell us. I didn't know shit about Witchblade until Sam told me. So, okay. So there's Skip two things that... There's, there's, there's two things you have to know about Witchblade. One, Witchblade oh, constantly changes its own owners basically okay uh and two witchblade is actually the weird love child of uh angel blade which are only meant to be not the hentai yeah not the not the hentai <laughs> just uh angel blade and oh fuck what was the other one <laughs> the darkness dar- the darkness right so it's a weird love child between the angel blade is between angel blade and the darkness so and they're constantly in a battle to see which one they can in which they um which uh, they're they're constantly in a battle to try and um influence the witchblade. The thing is, is that the angel blade can only be owned by women. The darkness, on the other hand, can be either. And witchblades are normally owned by women, so the darkness can constantly influence the witchblade. By breeding with the owners of the Witchblade. Oh, okay, all right. So. (laughs) It's just. Dang how that happens. Yep. Yeah. So it's a it's a lot of like again that's like the cool part of it where you're like oh this 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 really this is a really cool story about it's like an entire thing of like good versus evil and influencing the gray area of it because that's what the witchblade was supposed to do it was supposed to be the protector of the people who were in between ultimate good and ultimate evil oh oh okay so right? so humanity as a whole exactly right yeah. so it's supposed to be the the protector of that but then the witchblade keeps getting influenced by the darkness and ah, okay. they do a lot of crossover between the darkness and witchblade stuff so it gets really kind of it was an icky. anime witchblade at one point hmm. yeah and then that like the, <laughs> really skimpy um, the right the writing for it just it really goes downhill after a while because right. after the initial explanation of what's going on happens then they made the oh, I can't even remember her name anymore because it's been so Sarah long. Pizzini? Yeah, Sarah. They 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 made her because she was the she was the 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 stories like original owner. I put air air quotes because of the fact that she's the first one that you see. Right. And they make her so fucked up because of the fact that one she has a daughter with the person who is in charge of the darkness, so it fucks up the witchblade more. At which point Sarah has to give it away to somebody else. <laughs> And she fucks it up too, at which point she gets it back, and then it's a whole bunch of back and forth and all of this stuff. The and then the blue. daughter the daughter gets really weird, and then the anime makes it really weird, and we're just like, <laughs> this this doesn't go well. <laughs> so 
there's a daughter in the anime. There's a daughter in the in the in the actual comic too. She yeah. also gets really fucked up weird because mm. oh, yeah. she's a daughter of the darkness, and you're oh, just yeah. like, um. <laughs> Doesn't Lara Croft get the angel blade for a pet? She does. Yeah, Lara Croft is in the friggin' canon. Yep. What? Also, Batman. What? <laughs> She this is a very str- this is a very strange manga. Yeah, it's, it's not. Uh, not every, it's it's an an urban setting. Book. Everyone's crossed over. Everyone's crossed over. The yeah, person yeah. who has it is Dresden. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It was American. Oh, it was American. Yeah, oh, okay. It just it. had an anime. It just had an anime. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Some American producer manga. looked at that and said, "I can put a milf in that." <laughs> <laughs> Call yep. me a liar. Call me a liar. It's true. But that's what they did. That's what they did. Yeah. Um. To answer Tarda, uh, to answer uh, Tardifin's question, um, uh, Record of Lotus War uh, X nineteen ninety nine. Uh, what else did I read? Uh, oh my god, we're going down manga list because mine's gonna be. Fun. No, no, what's it? It's yeah, it's it's not. It, my memory is not what it used to be. What else did I have? Um, I had Slayers for a while. Um, that that. Uh, you know what? That's Never really had Dragon Ball. I think I might have had so, uh, like uh, some Dragon Ball and, and Naruto here and there, but it was mainly Record of mm-hmm. Lotus War, Slayers, and X nineteen ninety nine were my were the ones that I collected. Your go tos. Yeah, they were my go tos. Yeah. Are we talking about manga or anime? Because well, I, I was asked that the uh, uh, Tardifen was like, "Oh my manga? god, manga! What was it?" And they're like, "Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Uh, these ones." My. I can't remember. Favorite manga. The ones that I own, okay. Pluto oh, it's so good. is such a good it's so series. Good. Um, Buso Rankin, I absolutely fucking love it so much, even though it's so cliched. Who the fuck cares? It's just great. <laughs> <laughs> and It does not matter. It does not matter. I love it to bits. Um, so great as anime to, collector. I'm trying to think of all the other <laughs> manga that I yeah. really liked. Okay, I used to collect D. Greyman, but after the artist broke her hand, she never the same. Really, she wasn't. Because what happened was is that she, <laughs> God, she I was guessing. She went she went on hiatus for like a half a year so that way her hand would actually get back. Her, Heal, art, yeah. her art got back to normal ish because she got an assistant as well. But then her story took a nosedive because of the fact that she... I don't know what she did. She was trying... I think she was trying to truncate a bunch of stuff so she could catch up. Oh, okay. So, she made it really weird. Like, like, there were three manga in a row where the story seemed to skip. Just time, or... Time and plot. And you're just like, but what happened? And then when you go back and you read it, it's really super subtle. And you're just like... Is that what she's supposed to be doing? Because everything else beforehand was really laid out and really spaced out properly. So it wasn't a three years later. No, meme. Okay. it was a. It was a some like they there would be two people talking in one page. The next page would be we've skipped to somewhere else, and there's two people talking about something that might have happened ten minutes later of the ah. two people talking, and you're okay. just like, wait, what? How did that connect? There was no transition there, and it was like. Like, you know how in, like, the big action scenes where it's like, you jump from one, you jump to another, you jump to another, and you're like, oh, okay, that makes yeah. sense, because you're jumping between, you're causing tension. Yeah. But there's nothing to cause tension in these scenes. Huh. So you're just sitting there going, why is there tension here? We had, there was, like, there was a new character element that had just popped up and concluded in two manga, and I'm like, wait, this is huge and revolutionary. Where did this come from? <laughs> We found out that one of the one of the the main characters is actually like a clone slash reincarnation of themselves, and <laughs> you don't understand where any of that comes from. And I'm like, wait, how does this happen? Yeah, like it's an artificial reincarnation essentially. And I'm like, how how did we gain the technology to do this? How were you able to do this in the first place? How does this connect to anything else that we've learned in the entire series? I don't understand. And it just concludes in two seconds, because the thing is that the guy just goes, well, I'm going to die now, and he does! And I'm like, what? (laughs) I'm going to die now, bye! Bye! (laughs) So, yeah... I Enough I really their liked it on top and putting them on the side until the art until the artist broke her hand yep. and then I was just like I can't I, I can't, can't anymore I can't anymore I can't I, I, it's can't, too, I can't it's too it's too crazy yep hmm. you broke a hand you lost your mind <laughs> <laughs> I like I I kind of understand.
understand why she was doing it because mm-hmm. she she was making up for lost time. But at the same time, it just it got weird. <laughs> It just got weird. It she, did. She it, should it have taken like, time where time was needed. Yeah, yeah, it felt like that she needed to have like a couple extra pages in between the two pages of like it's just uh... okay. Down, Sam. <laughs> D. Greenman makes Has me anyone so. Anyone Eden? It's an endless floor. I have not. Has anyone what? <laughs> Red Eden. Eden in oh, oh. World. I'm like, what, where, where are you seeing that? Um, I thought someone was, they said. God, that sounds familiar. Eaten? What? What? what I, know, is, I feel like I've heard that too. I'd like Eden Endless World. Why am I reminded of Eden? Kingdom Hearts? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eden Endless World. Of my life. I'm not getting back. Uh, oh, you don't want to say that around the rest of the crew. Why? Kingdom Hearts. What about it? Did you say that? It sounded like you were talking badly about it. It's like, no, it's oh, there's three, three years of my no, life that I'll never get back. I'm not. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> like, I'm not getting my time back for Kingdom Hearts. Oh, it's well because it's, 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 it's Kingdom it's Hearts. You either go all the you go all in, or you go half. <laughs> Scroll up, sorry. Yeah, that, yeah. You, it's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. From the Death Watch Coral. <laughs> oh, okay. Weights in kilograms and pounds. No, they did they? I don't recall that. Huh. Huh. Chain swords are ten kilograms or twenty two pounds. Power sword five kilograms. Ah. Interesting. Space. I was not aware of that. Uh, ceramite construction. I guess. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, it, it, it's like me in college. Uh, and uh, <laughs> hey, how, how does this work? Doing? Bluetooth. Because <laughs> Bluetooth was coming out exactly when yeah. I was in college, and so we slapped it on damn near everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just because. Just because. Whoa! Whole nation. Hey, what's what's that? Dude, it just hosted us. Hey. hey. All right, Wraithbone is all done. It. So yeah, Dom's character would not be able to use that. <laughs> <laughs> the combat. Oh, that's why he's doing it. Because I, I remember now. I handed, uh, I handed not Tim. I was about to say Tim. And it is Gingerbread Man combat knife. Look, does anyone have a small weapon? Oh, she's cross is also hosting us. Yay! Yay! All right. So now I'm just painting the back because I think the front's pretty much done. I might do another paint. God damn it! Later. More yep. people are. More people. Are oh, that looks awesome. <laughs> nice. Well done. Well done. Not bad for a first paint job. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. That was it's very good. clean. Well done. I like it. So there's still you can still see a bit of the old pink if you look for it, but I'm gonna let this dry yep. a little bit, and then I'm gonna do yep. the back and the sides. Yeah. We haven't tested the relative strength of the Cookie Man though. Maybe it's Cookie Magic Strength. It's a fucking RPG yeah. game, guys. I ain't yeah. going down there. <laughs> also a cookie. So. So will the Nauticus re- so will Nauticus repair the hold? From the- <laughs> that was great. Oh, I can't ride No, I walked out. I walked up and said, "When Sam was just like, I can do this, whoop, and teleport." I'm like. Shing and drove that and drove my sword through the oh, hall yeah, of the Penetratus. Oh and no! Like, hey, and that's, stop that! Stop that! And then the two of us were were mouthy to each other. No, we were mouthy to each other because you were trying to get with Sam's no, character. No, 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 no! Nauticus yeah. was shipping her in Quantum. Oh uh, yes, and right. You were like, love is irrelevant, and Nauticus said to you, "Love powers the stars." Yes. You know, I, what I almost yes. had him say, if, yeah. I, if we if we weren't trying to go so fast, yeah, I would have had him say to you. Yeah. Well, what do you call what you feel for your emperor? For your <laughs> brothers? That's love. Obsession. <laughs> love a... has kept the Imperium of Man alive. Genetically, and oh, how would I reply oh, to that? It's, I'd, I'd it's say something like, kind of like, um, genetic imperative. Like, it's just like, no, we don't. I don't love him. I, I am, it's... Do you trust him? Well, it's, do you it, believe in him? Yes. Well, well, respect the litanies. Him? And do you know that Because be by the litanies you? and the prayers, I must. Would you not if they weren't there? They are always there. They have always been there. That's love. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got you there. <laughs> did you? Did, did you? Did you see that people were like shipping like Elias and Nauticus? <laughs> they what? They really? were. Yes, yeah, there were. There were. There were. There were people that were like, I now ship Elias and Nauticus so hard. <laughs> that is a one-sided Do you trust him? ship. Care for him? Call him daddy. Call him daddy. <laughs> That's love. <laughs> Only uh, the Primarchs may Elias call him and daddy. Nargis? There, there, there was, there was a, a I mean, good I like half, a challenge, but still. There's a good half dozen people who are like, I ship Elias Nauticus now. I'm like, that's amazing. <laughs> also, yeah, only the primar- Primarchs may call him daddy. <laughs> yes. Granddaddy. Um, yeah, to yeah, so the rest maybe. of us, he is granddaddy. Grandpapa. <laughs> I ship Elias <laughs> X Nauticus. Eliacus. <laughs> Eliacus. Oh, no. If that, en- if that ends up as a t-shirt or con bravo, I'll be like... What does that say? I like it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. I'm not here to kink shame anyone, but god damn that weird. <laughs> <laughs> for some, for Nauticus, that's a challenge. That's a challenge, yes. 
I could. I totally could. He'd regret it, though. I can make that no jod. Oh my god, everything is so dark. This guy is so edgelordy. Uh, all, my, all my base colors are the darkest of yes. the darks. Yas. Meanwhile, I'm trying to turn magenta into Yas, black. Eldar. <laughs> Yas, Eldar. <laughs> Eventually, I will add brighter colors. I just don't know what I want to do with this right now. Okay, I'm gonna put some water down Holy this crap, first. I love the contrast paint. Look at this. The That's the original color? Yeah. A single coat of the contrast paint does ah! that. What the hell? Like, and it's automatically shading it. Like, here. Really I'll show great. it to the camera in a bit. Mike, look the at this. The captain and the lion, that I white? can see what it. What is starting, guys? Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Like, a single coat of this paint starts from white to that. Wow. You're going to have to yeah. teach me how to do that. To, <laughs> you open bottle, <laughs> and you, you put on model. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like, that is... It's, so, not, it's not 1999 anymore. We need to do, yeah. like, complex composition. So for those oh. who haven't seen it, but are model painters... Snake bite leather. Okay, that's what I'm using. God, I'm bad at this. I've been doing this for a year now. We're all bad at We're it. We're all bad at it. <laughs> no one's good. So that white, because you got to go from light to dark with the contrast paints. If you did, I'll the, eventually figure. There we go. So if you did mini painting on yeah. stream daily, you might get ahead. I might, I might get ahead of it. I might figure it out. So that's the white, the cloth. But if you do it right once there. a month on stream, one <laughs> coat of my snake bite leather. Whoop, turned it to that color. All brown with automatic shading and highlighting. Uh, and I'm like, oh, well, that worked. That's beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. It kind of looks like there's a shellac. I thought it. Nautic has wanted nothing to do with the Death Watch. Yeah. I like a challenge. It's different when someone challenges you to do it. I double dog dare you. <laughs> like me in the Russian royal family. I mean, come on. I didn't want to. But it's you not like dead. I like the cold. But you were dared but by Rasputin. I was Rasputin. dared by Rasputin. Yeah, I did. Yeah, like Gregorian. It's just, it didn't work. Brother, right. I dare you. Nail the whole royal family. Fine, I will, you little asshole. <laughs> it might be a trick. I bet you can. It was a trick. <laughs> it was a trick. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can't get them all. I bet you can. It was a trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and thus... Nauticus did nail the entire Russian, 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 Russian royal, royal family. Except Anastasia, she was Oh, motherfucker. You. you okay? Ah, that what sucked. I bent back my nail. Oh, buddy. Oh, oh, on here. oh, oh God. Another flipper, and I got a long drive today. <laughs> Apparently, Elias is playing hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> he is. <laughs> he is. The I secret to getting that. Dexter. The secret to getting Dexter. Sorry, not Dexter. What the fuck is the name of that boy? Elias! 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 Yeah. No, I'm asking you. Elias! <laughs> What's the name of that boy you're obsessed with? The boy with the sword on his back. <sighs> Cypher. Cypher! I can help you find him. <gasps> I'm curious to know There's how. a price. There's a price! <laughs> I need to go where no where no, no servitor has ever gone before. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Especially those cherub servitors. Uh -huh. ah! <laughs> uh. No! We're not that kind of street. <laughs> Does that mean I can get Nauticus to mess up the whole multiverse by saying I bet you can't do it in Tony? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> like, bet you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I bet bet you can. can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. It becomes it becomes a musical. The whole multiverse oh, becomes geez. a musical yes. headed by Nauticus. It would not be that hard. <laughs> I can uh. make it happen. Tyler and I can do it. We'll have, we'll have all of like... Yeah, I'll look to Tyler. Tyler, can you make the Lord Nauticus musical and he'll just start crying. <laughs> well, from the fact that I've given him the opportunity. I was going to say, you've him. given me the opportunity of my And that I've asked him such a hard, huge task. Because he's literally on break now and he's enjoying it. And I hope he does. Because he, he was doing triple duty for he's us. He's in Halifax. Yeah, Yay. literally Yep. Yeah. What's in Halifax for him? Family, I think. The Navy. <laughs> Nauticus the musical. Yes. Yes. I slept with everything. If he's famous, I fucked him. If she's famous, I fucked them. And if there was a duo, you know I was the meat. <laughs> My name is Lord Nauticus. I went through history. Because Literally. I was there and I made it fabulous. Not sure what Mike is doing and Sam is being Sam. Yes. <laughs> so our relationship right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't, like, I don't know, man. I'm along for the ride in here. Oh, George. <laughs> Devin is painting Eldari. Dave is painting Tau. I <laughs> the <laughs> game. Yes, Hold Sean. my fine vino. <laughs> Hold <laughs> my, the embodiment of old my beer. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. You know. 
Nachos. Mike is uh, actually painting a 3D pr- his first 3D printed symbol uh, to the chat. He uh, he Second, works at, uh, at work. His first he successful. His first successful. Yeah, the other one split correct? in half. Yeah, this is the yeah, first okay. successful one. Yeah. My own design. Yeah. Uh, based on art, Sam did it. Or musical to summary of the whole meta campaign at the end of the reboot. Love it. Oh, I'm almost uh, done them. I just got to put on the shoulder bits. And yes, so and yes, Jordan, it's for ago. our kill team game. Watch the shoulder bits. Yes. So five years ago, that we had a bigger problem. Four assholes killed a dragon and caused a lot of. I'm not going to. Problems. Problems. <laughs> <laughs> caused a lot of. The circumstances problems. changed. The men, the thing is, I'm done. Never mind. Mike is crafting a musical. There you go. Yes. Yep. Yep. That's a thing. Is Gilbert Sam... Sullivan to do it. And Sam is working on her brand. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> uh, oh no, Sam, Sam, uh, Sam's del- a delight. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the beginning of the really crappily base code because I'm painting over another base code. This is what happens when an edgy edgelord is named. Edgy, 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 edgy. edgy. I was like, oh, this is already blue. <clears throat> no, fuck it. Does not because have fancy honor dueling gloves for some reason I picture him having hundreds in the stash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have them stashed. I have a closet for dueling gloves. There's Just dueling gloves when it's about sex. There's a dueling... sex duel. Yes. A du- sexy duel. <laughs> Sam's making the musical. Oh no, she's ready. <laughs> There's dueling gloves when it's a duel of sex. <laughs> Fancy <laughs> dueling glove cannon when you want to start a duel when you're at a, when you're already at 20 p- paces. Yeah. He has a dueling gl- that that that's an Atticus, uh weapon. Yeah. Yep. All right. What am I? There's a dueling glove when you're trying to make better art. <laughs> All right. Well, it was using <laughs> the hacksaw. Really going the full nine. Damn, pickle, this is taking. Pickle, pickle, pickle. Look, <laughs> twenty lives. I love this. Uh, that, every day, uh, all of Shadow Crone's comments just uh, just both terrify me and make me really intrigued. It's like, I'm using a hacksaw on Tom's prop. What? Yeah. <laughs> Take a look have, at he's it. using a fire, um, a fire, um, a water hose gun. Yeah. A water jet. Water jet, thank you. Uh, Alright. There we go. Yeah. The beginning of that, ba- the beginning of the base code. So, you weren't there to, you, had, uh, oh. you were not able to make it last night. Um, so... There's a VR place at where we where we went to dinner uh, last night mm-hmm. um, for my belated birthday party. Uh, birthday. It was thank you, thank, thank you for you. moving it by the way. Yeah, no, it's it, it just made the most sense because um, when my future sister in law is two days afterwards, it's like nephew's birthday, uh, friend Jeff's birthday, my birthday, st- sister in law's birthday, all within the space of like a week and a half. I'm like. Uh, uh, no, Devin. I said uh, if if I said I'm getting a blowtorch and a welder, then you should. Uh, mm, mm. Yes, I, I would. I would. I'd wonder whose prop it was, and pictures. <laughs> <laughs> pics, because well, we know it's happening, yeah. but uh, pics because we're curious. Pics, pics, because I'm curious. It is. Happening. <laughs> you see, a sex uh, dueling gloves like a normal dueling glove is machine washable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Now, this pack came Thank with, you, Tipsler. Uh, this pack came with two Thank you, everyone. Um, clear the... sticks. Yeah. So I may pr- pry this one off and put him on one of the airborne sticks. Yes, for his sh- for because... his shadow drone. Shadow drone. Shadow crown. No. Shield drone. <laughs> er, no. Um, uh, yeah. These guys come with a spotter drone. Oh, but uh, okay. they also all come with jetpacks. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. think. They all have jetpacks. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to set to, uh, to finally see like the full. Thank you. Well, these ones have all the bits on. They're done. Okay. Uh, I think. Nice. I it's it's just with this one, I may pry him off the base and put him on. Uh... This guy's done too. He looks significantly less impressive than your guy. Right. My guy could headbutt your guy into a new yeah. other direction. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Careful. He's re- it's really wet. Then then turn it around. Then yeah. you hold it. <laughs> oh oh oh. Yeah. Thank you. This is not actually going to work well on the camera, but it's something. Well, yeah, no, it's working well. There's good contrast. Yeah, so most of the most of the pink is pretty much gone. Whoa! Come on, camera. It's self, it's jump Focus. Jump. Malfunction. Yeah, so that is the symbol of the thirteen prime. Do you see it coming? I'll bet you d- you hear it coming. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's like because <laughs> there's going to be. Sam, no... are you still writing the song? 
I'm trying to figure out how to make it go to... Yeah. to... Oh, shit, I missed a spot. So, think of... Go, finish, yeah. No, I'm trying to figure out how to make it go to the Fighting Food mm. on Steam. <laughs> <laughs> Which is basically just the can-can. So... <laughs> because there's two parts to the can-can. It's the beginning part, where it's... So... I'm trying to figure out how to make it work to that. And I'm like, because that'd be really funny. And I'm like, fuck. What time do we got? Uh, oh, we got we're another, uh, yeah, we're 25 minutes out. Okay. Yeah, so, I can build a shield, or uh, a uh, drone. So most of VR has two little hand bits. Yep. And a visor. Yes. We had a full suit. Oh, damn. Uh, it was like, so they walked up and they, they walked into this area and it kind of reminded me of Laser Quest. Yeah. Actually. Laser Quest is a laser tag brand in Canada. I'm not sure if it's a, an old one. I'm pretty sure it was also in the U.S., but but it was a laser quest. But it's a laser tag brand in Canada. Yeah. So, but it was a an army vest, like stitched, not Kevlar, but heavy stitched um, uh, leather mm -hmm. that had uh, patches all the way down, about five or six patches down the front, on the shoulders, and down the back. And then you had your shoulders, and if you were playing the Star Wars one or the Ghostbusters one, there was a blaster as well. Oh, jeez. Um, so you sort of walk into this area, and you're like, oh, this rather looks like I'm about to get suited up for a fight. Um, <laughs> this one was, in fact, no, it was turn of the century kind of Call of Cthulhu horror. Nice. Uh, and you were trying to and you were trying to survive a, a carnival of horrors while be while going through all of these exhibits. Um, very well done, really really effective, uh, and it was, like, the, the, the what was neat is uh, they actually had set up the whole experience so they could also do the sort of thing you get in theaters where if you're bla if you're being blasted through the VR with water, they actually oh, spray yeah. water in your face. Okay. Um, or during That's some of the cool. exhibits, like, pieces would, uh, you're directed to touch or move to certain pieces. Mm -hmm. um, one of them, these exhibits were all a bunch of glass wall exhibits, like little toys and oh, nice. dolls and soldiers. I placed one uh, to start an exhibit, placed my hand on one to start an exhibit. A little monkey with an axe came out of the wall. I it was, it was just a doll. Coming... What's that? Right. I'm out. It was a doll. <laughs> it, was a doll. It, was a, yeah, it was a monkey doll. Um, that oh, just came out of the wall, started walking, <laughs> sort of moving along its little track. Vanessa saw and she said, nope, 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 nope. I'm going to go over here. And, and, and <laughs> the monkey stops at about here to my hand. Mm. And the sign goes off again. And then as soon as I take my hand off, I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. He pulls out pshink, an axe. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, dear. And then, oh. The hand, and then the hand symbol lights up again. Like, hmm. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. So... Me being me. Like, Devin being the Devin we all know. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and love. yeah, sure, why not? So I put the hand back on the register, and as soon as you touch it, the axe goes shink, shink, down oh, on oh. your hand, and if you don't move your hand away fast enough, it will actually cut your virtual yeah. fingers. Oh! Uh, and it's, it's that, to the point Twitch where... Twitch chat is not showing up. That's, yeah. That's seven layers yeah. of uncomfortable. But it actually vibrated underneath your fingers. Oh, oh. So it happened so quickly, it was almost like it was a... <laughs> Like a ah. vibration on the fingers, like oh, ah, and then the rest of the VR, I actually had just stumps on my oh, hand. Oh no! So oh, like, there's cool. literally no messages Nobody, coming. Nobody's out. just putting in anything. Yeah. So here, let me. Let me... Okay, that yeah. there. The Twitch chat is good. It should be fine. Yeah. Nobody said anything. Test. I can type properly. Ah. Yeah. Shadow Crone's there. Yeah. It's Test. There. Yep. Let me see if it shows up on. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. There was all sorts of things. There was like mechanic. There was um, uh, oh, mannequins go. that mirrored what you look like. Mannequins. mannequins. <laughs> and the mannequins would look at you uh, no. and slightly ah. turn their faces. And like this is, it was very, it was very creepy, very effective. Nice. And uh, <sighs> yeah, quite liked it. Would recommend. Devin into that weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we how we gonna, it, but we didn't uh, want to say. How are we gonna hold this up? <laughs> that sounds fun. All right, let's. So we got. You'll have to uh, tell me which uh, place it is. Uh, it's the it's rec room, rec room at square one. Oh, okay. All right, so we got. This is gonna be awkward to hold up, and I hope I don't drop okay. Dave's model. We got the Eldar. I'm let that dry off, and I'm gonna put that in. It started to be I'm base coated, done. and then we have Dave's path. Whoop. 
X twenty five. There is Pathfinder model. Stealth I don't understand. Battle suit. Yeah. Oh, they're asking. Uh, what did you get as a gift? Oh, from the, the, the from the crew? No idea. Mike ha- apparently says it's in the mail. <laughs> it is. So I, I have no idea what it is. Yeah, d- d- what? Sorry. I told you what I was getting you beforehand. I want to know if you wanted it. And then I've completely forgotten what you asked about, and I'll find out when I get the gift. You want to remember writing? Sure. Um, Battlestar Galactica, but all the boards are on one playmat. Oh. It's a mouse pad mat, so you can just have it all in one spot. <laughs> ah, the bigger, blacker box. <laughs> it's all the expenses except for Pegasus. It's all the... And Roland, the yeah, yeah, all the ship, all the different ship things are all laid out and all it. <laughs> Welcome to I don't do gifts very often, but when I do, I don't get distance good. hugs. <laughs> I'll hug Dave too. I don't know if he was part of it. Not particularly, but okay. Oh, it's not I appreciate the on hug. the video. Okay. Yeah, the the Twitch. Okay, but if you can, can people on Twitch still see the Twitch like video? Twitchy Twitchy Twitch 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 it's very tongue twistery. Yeah, they can still see the video. Okay, so it's probably just restream being stupid. So, Sometimes. oh, which reminds me, did we want to go on to Mixer too? <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, anyone on Mixer to watch us? I don't know. Are there any people on Mixer? Do you guys want us to go to Mixer? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's one. All right, so I'm done it. my painting. I do have one more guy. We're going to go back to what we were doing at the very start because I realized my comms guy, I don't have a name for yet. My defender. Comms guy. Comms Great guy. idea, guys. Go to Mixer. That's right. Get that last bit of fan base we didn't get yet. <laughs> well, I think I think they're talking about Devin's gift. Oh. oh. Yes, yes. I, I, Battlestar Galactica was a... It was the very first Fantasy Flight games game. Game game. <laughs> game game. I ever owned. I played it a lot through university. And uh, I haven't finished collecting everything yet, uh, all, all the expansions, but... I know you the have fact Pegasus. That it, oh, I, I, pe- I have the base game and I have Pegasus, and I have a few other extra bits and bobs that they've, yes, that they've added over you the You can, year. in fact, space people. Yeah. Yes, that, was, that, that, that happened. Yeah, that happened where um, <laughs> a friend of mine who just enjoys chaos, he doesn't actually try and win board games, he just likes like creating chaos. Dead for both. Oh, okay, because so. the restream... It's not the restream chat, it's the... Cause the if you look at the chat... In, um, in the in the video, yeah, it's just it's not. Yeah, going I to... think because restream again, it's not restream that's coming to us. It's restream going to out yeah. out is fucked up. So we do apologize for that, guys. Yes, Jordan is absolutely right. I have far too many, and I have given away and sold some, and I still have far too many. You gave away Space Hulk, and it broke my heart that it didn't go to me. I know, I know. It went to a place. It, it went, went to, to it went to a place, and it's been used. Well, as so. long as it's being used, exactly. All right, so, oh, comms no. officer, my comms guardian. All right, chat, roll a d10 for me. Wah. Wah! I think hello from trying to get it to try. The comms guardian yeah. defender officer. And I think this guy, actually, even as a comms officer, I could make him a gunner, but I won't. I can make him a heavy guardian. Uh-huh. Shadow Crone rolled an 8, cool, and Tipsler rolled 90. I'll try and keep that in... Uh, Zara, Sue, what was your question? Ask it again. Yeah. Five, seven, five, five, Are you familiar with the minis game Ogre? Ogre? No. So I've occasionally posting the cart game I helped make NVIDIA. I wonder if you guys would be interested in playing it someday as four-player local play, and you can play online simultaneously. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So we got a... More about it. Yeah. Hmm. Occasionally posted the cart Hmm. game. Ah. All right, so five was rolled a lot, but that's Survivor's Guilt, and I already have that. So we're going to go with eight, which was the next one. Cold is the Void. Oh, upon the battlefield... Just nothing but lords. Oh. Upon the battlefield, all emotions are suppressed, and only the dictates of the purest logic will prevail. Mm. That's very good for He's a, a medic. <laughs> <laughs> if he was a medic. For a comms officer, not so much. Yeah. He's a Vulcan. Yeah. All right, so he is cold as Logic the void. Logic dictates there's no point in transmitting, the, transmitting this. But there's no deficit to doing so. <laughs> Someone, there's scouts. <laughs> Dave's Pathfinders are coming up the right-hand side of, like, wherever the building that we happen to be in. I could tell them about this. But Logic dictates that there's no need for it. Logic dictates that the guardian that's over there should die. And like, you gonna let people know about the flanking maneuver? No. 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 <laughs> 
Ogres by Steve Jackson. Big Mike has a picture of uh, of MK4 in DMs from me. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, all right, cool. I gotta yeah. check my DMs because you guys send me DMs during, and I only get to them after the fact, unfortunately. So Devin's army is the Edge Lord Sept. Yep. <laughs> you are the Fire Sept. I am the Edge Lord Sept. Oh yeah. I should be painting these guys like Reaper. I'm trying to go <laughs> the grim dark of the far future. No one is having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so the comms officer is shockwave. Yeah, that's a good reference. All right, so Devin won't get it, but I got it. All right, I so I can't it. do the ninety because that's too high. Can you scroll up again? I just want to grab some numbers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, keep yeah. going, keep going, keep this going. Fun. I've enjoyed this. Yeah, and We're having a good time. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Jordan rolled an eleven. I might pick Jordan's just because it's Jordan and he hasn't done one yet. Okay. Okay, thank you, Sam. All right. You know um, what? For my first paint job, that's not too bad. <laughs> not too bad at all. You have to go back to Mars. <laughs> Look what Jordan rolled. Tomorrow? What do you roll? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> These names. Okay. Fuck. I walk this lonely Shh. road, this lonely road. I want to know the name. I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. It's a road. <laughs> it's a road. <laughs> All right, and then that. that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> and a spotter drone. Yeah, right. I'll do another pass next craft stream. Yeah. If Devin brings back his paints. All right. So my comms, uh, my comms officer is uh, is cold as the void. His name is Anesh. He who walks alone. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep. Got yeah. So I have Anesh. He who walks the oh, he who walks alone. Requiel, song uh. of the fading stars. And Nwathi, bo born of twilight. Beneath my skin! Beneath my skin! Uh, and Tishriel, <laughs> spirit of the wind. D20 Live crew, what video games have you been playing, if any? Devin Can he fight with playing? all the colors of the Sorry, wind? Sorry, what, what, what video <laughs> games? What video games have we been playing? Yeah. Uh, Devin, you've been playing Call. I've been playing Call of Cthulhu recently. I just finished the over 100 hours journey that is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Woof. Um, and I mean, like, I killed all cult members. I'm the top mercenary. I did all the DLC. I killed the gods. <laughs> That's the edgiest fucking one yet. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Sam, what have you been playing? Me? Video games? Uh, doing some Minecraft. Uh, yeah, just because right. Minecraft. Um, uh, other than that, not terribly too much. Um, uh, Darkest Dungeon on the Switch. Okay, uh, yeah. Which, you know, yeah, you wonder what... Oh, Switch? What? <laughs> Um, but other than that, not terribly much. Okay. I'm, well, try, I'm trying to translate can something. Can I see Beth and tell me? Sure. Then we can bring the Switch and... Sure. Actually, yeah. no, let's not. Let's not bring the Switch. We'll just okay. do board games. Fine. For what? Oh, the, for, for afterwards? Out, so, yeah. Yeah. Um. Lonely Road, Lonely Road, Lonely Road. I was road. playing Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, and then I started playing <laughs> uh, Blades of the Shogun. This could work. Okay. Um, which is so good. It's so good, but I suck at it. So what? What? Much. Uh, I've been, you I made me that. really curious about it. What? Co what? What consoles is it on? What platforms? Are, are, uh, is it on? It's PC purely. PC purely. Okay. All right. Um, because yeah. yeah, the concept is you are a bunch of uh, specialists working for the Shogun, and okay. you're trying to take down the head of the current oh. uh, cartel. Okay. Yep. In the area, and you know he's trying to harm the Shogun. I can guess who the person is if you. Pay attention to the plot for one of the okay. um, But everyone is so diverse in their set of skills and such. Hmm. Okay. All right. It's a <laughs> but I, stealth but, RTS? Or uh, a... Yes, yeah, st uh, stealth RTS. Stealth element RTS. I know. Because I, I, uh, the thing was, I found it looking up uh, Commandos, which was an old stealth RTS from well, back also in the stealth day. stealth RTS. Yeah. And it, the, the word had been out about uh, this game being out, so... Edge, you think you know him. Trigon Quan, bad joke, bad joke. Yeah. Bad joke. Because now I have the damn song in my head. Thank On you. On this day. On this day. And clearly, everything's come to light. Who the hell is Matt Hardy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know who that man is. 
Oh, All right, so shit, he's back. He's back. So, Craft World or I guess Bad uh, Exile World here, Rima or Rima here. Which sounds better? Which sounds better? Here, Rima, here, Rima, or what? Uh, here, Rima or Rima here. Rima I like here, here. <laughs> I like here, Rima. Here, here Rima. Rima. Here, Rima. Here, Rima. Guess, here, guess what that is? What? Edgelord and Sindarin. Uh, because in internet. I was yes. like, alright, internet, help me figure this out. And <laughs> turned it up like, okay, alright, yep, Lord. Lord when it's being used as an adjective, edge as a noun. Yep, there you go. Thank you, internet. It helped me translate Edgelord into an actual elven word. That's amazing. Ah, uh, internet. Done. <laughs> Craft old Edgelord. <laughs> All right, there. I now have the first members of my kill team. For that, how much time do we have left? Ten minutes. Cool. Yeah, I'm just laying this dry. Yeah, and then I'll let it dry within a day. I'm gonna. All right. On. Now going back to right to the very beginning of the stream, there were people who asked about this book. This is the Kickstarter book for Fifth Ed. Strongholds and followers. What is it about? Strongholds and followers. Strongholds and followers that populate and followers them. Followers that populate the strongholds. <laughs> for those of you who wanted ultimate campaign. In, in fifth ed, in that's fifth ed, the book. Th yep. this is this is the book. Yes, yeah. It's uh, what I like about it though. An ultimate campaign gave you additional. I think you made a very good choice with this. It instead of doing additional rules for uh, outside of your core character rules for warfare and followers and strongholds and that sort of thing, and adding um, complexity in that way, what it does is it gives you additional rules, but all the rules apply back to your character. It's okay. a very King Arthur style of doing it where as you build up the land, the land just makes you stronger. Oh nice. So all of the so all the things that you build the stronghold for are yep. not like you get all you get additional magic shops to make to make uh to, to make magic armor and and you have to use this separate system for it or whatever. Yeah. It gives you bonuses and ways of getting resources. If you were to make magic items, mm -hmm. you need a way of actually getting resources. Your keep can bring those resources to oh, you. I am listening to um, stretching clothes. Or, or it gives you a space to do your work shopping for, for mm -hmm. it. So it's... Or if you use an establishment, the rogue sort of style facility, it gives a way to plant quest hooks while they're actually in their stronghold. So it's it, may, it takes the concept of building out this, um, uh, this base of operations... Mm -hmm but making the mechanics about the characters rather than their own unique set of mechanics. I'm like, I like how they do that. That, that, that just brings it back and, and attaches it to the characters. So, quite like it. Also, it gives the idea of um, <laughs> if your cleric hasn't made their god mad and they've given prayers and built a temple and done good works, you can actually combine it with Kingmaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have already done the thing that Mike advised me not to do. Uh, Which was? Kickstarted. Well, I, I, I'm not doing it because I still haven't yeah. gotten one of my Kickstarter rewards at this point. From yeah. Paizo? Uh, from Owlcat. They haven't sent me my physical copy of Pathfinder Kingmaker. It, Pathfinder King... Oh, oh, you mean the, 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 oh, oh, the, the PC game. I'm like, it's not out yet. Okay, no. Um, yeah, Kingmaker, <laughs> Kingmaker is where I'm imprisoned. And guess what, Jordan? I'm buying... Pathfinder, to Pathfinder 2nd Edition Kingmaker. <laughs> it's we're about still playing it in first, though. It's a, yeah, we're still playing it in first, but I'll be able to play... I'll be able to make, like, Kingmaker the living hell of some other group. Yeah. To give you guys an idea of how big second Pathfinder 2nd Edition is. Oh, that's a baby killer. Uh, for Kingmaker, you need... To that's a baby killer. Rules. I agree, Jack, I many names, and I do have it. He's trapped within the body of a druid. I yes. put a thing on his we'll back. Let me I don't know what that thing does, but it's on his back. It is almost <laughs> as wide as a paint bottle. It's about 600 pages. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I want to do... Before I get into second ed, I want to do more Starfinder. Mm. I want to wait till there's like a lot of good supplements in there. Yeah. To really round out stuff and really give me something to really chew into. Yeah, yeah. Because I know at some point you guys are going to get me playing second, which is fine. I just have no intention of buying any of the books because I bought all the first books. And I'm not, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, just, exactly. Not, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, they won't let me die. Your fellow no, no, players no, no. won't let you no, die. No, 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 no. Jordan, let's, 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 be, let's be fair about this. Mike and I have tried to kill you many no, times. No, I won't let him die. I'm an asshole. But 
<laughs> Except we've brought him into bleeding many times, but his fellow oh, players have sorry. kept him alive. Yeah. Um, you won't make it, him live. You see, Sometimes. it's it's only gotten to the point where Mike won't let Jordan die now because Jordan's bitched about it so much. Now we, now Mike won't let him die, but previously okay. we gonna... have brought him into bleeding and dying several so times, I'm... but the paladin keeps healing him, or the bard keeps healing him. <laughs> so... <clears throat> It's just a, as much their fault. They had a spell where it was like instantly could bring him back if he died within that round. It was Ugh. like, yep. Also known yep. as clear. <laughs> <laughs> the clear spell. Hey. <laughs> Coming down. There you go. It's because Sorry, he wants to, to take up. everything that he now understands about Pathfinder oh. and make a wizard. How's it going? I like, realized third ed wizards are broken as hell. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Yeah, so. It's, it is what it is. It is, what it is. Yeah. So he should rest as hard as he can because he's afraid of death. He did. He almost made it, too. Yeah, uh-huh. And then they brought him back. They he said, him back. why? <laughs> exactly. He was, was so mad happy. at them. I was, I was almost out. I was happy. I saw the light. Uh, why did you bring me back? Bakken is in this world. I don't want to be around him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jordan finally saw the Galactopus on Discord. <laughs> it's, 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 what you, it's what you call a druid with a ranking gunslinger. With ranking gunslinger. Oh, okay, yeah. Is it Glocktopus? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, but That's he. T- but it's a d- d- druid can be even more broken. But he he has found and made several builds of wizard that are rather terrifying, and he just wants to try. Well, but we're not letting him try because he's a druid. Why won't you let me die? Because you haven't suffered enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, true. True. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. So the best, the best was he's like, guys, I, I hate my druid. He sucks so much. And then he made lightning hippo. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, guys, I don't want to be a druid anymore. Like, dude, you made a lightning hippo. Shut the fuck you up. You are a land battleship. <laughs> yes. You see, you made angry love to a battle tower. <laughs> it's forever. It's forever done because I've put, I put. I made art. it into artwork. Made it into yeah. artwork. His his, his art. mad love with a siege tower. People of Fort Jellab, we're here to liberate you as the bar as the archers tied to the side of the hill. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's so I could have my hands free. <laughs> <laughs> the paladin's riding on the head. The dru- and then the bard was on the back, and then was Scott on the back. Yeah, try- amending, <laughs> de- delivering political political. Uh, Leaflets or no, leaflets, yeah. Yeah. leafleting. Yeah. Do not worry. So people, and people, and people of Fort Drellov, smash! They go through the wall. <laughs> yeah. We are here to liberate you. <laughs> it this immense they, hippo. the propaganda. It was great. They yep. took out the tower. They did, and it wasn't just a normal sized hippo. It was like two size categories larger than a regular be, hippo. Yeah. yeah. I so, might have it on my iPad. Hang on. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was <laughs> Post daunting. it to Discord. <laughs> <laughs> It, w- yeah. it was daunting. It's like, I have to go back like a while, though. Uh, hippos... Think, Mike, why are there so many tactical rules in Starfighter? I don't know. I didn't make it. <laughs> there, um, are two, there are a lot. Why a hippo? Uh, why not a hippo? Because yeah. they're angry. They're dangerous in the water. They're dangerous on <laughs> land. Uh, they get like an automatic grapple if they do a bite attack. Yeah. And they're huge. <laughs> also in Assassin's Creed Origins, they are terrifying. Yes. They are, they're, 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 the level of terrifying that they are in AC Origins is about what most wild animals were in... Um, help me out. Uh, Far Cry 3. Not Rage. Far Cry. Yeah, Far, Far Cry. Cry 3. Far Cry 3. <laughs> Alligators and sharks. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, no, it's Far Cry 3. I'm going to swim in, alligator. No, you won't. No, you won't. <laughs> like, now you're good. Okay, you're I tried to clean that off as best I could, but you might want to do... All right, that's why I brought my brush cleaner. But, yeah, uh, yeah um... my uh, my way of dealing with sharks in Far Cry 3 was just run them over in a boat. And then deal with that. <laughs> and then deal with that, yeah. So, quick question for everyone. What was everyone's reaction to seeing the Gauntlet version 2 I made earlier this year? Mike, I keep showing my friends when you upload to Instagram along with the Power Sword. It honestly was so fucking cool. Because I was like, I, I, at first I was like, oh, it's the gauntlet. Wait. It's articulated. <laughs> it's like, that's all spiky and, and can, scaly. And and it, no, it was, and it was this. It was like, ah. And then he tapped his tooth and went, oh, shit. That was so cool. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. The attempt shadow ground, it, it was amazing. Like that was so would, cool. The articulation would, on it. I would play with it nonstop just to make it look like whatever movements I did look natural with it. Yeah, exactly. And like you see me, I watch myself in the nice. stream, and I'm like, wow, it's like that's a part of my hand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it it does. It works extremely well. Yeah. So, uh, if uh, yeah, what I did today was work on uh, some uh, X25 Tau 
stealth battle suits, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. are damn cool. Two of them have burst cannons. One of them has a fusion cannon. Yes. Uh, I don't know what the little camera thing on his backpack is, but I put it on anyway. <laughs> That'll uh, be this guy will be your comms officer. <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. And I worked on building and painting. Well, building my kill team in terms of personality. They and were already built uh, physically. Yeah, they were already uh, built physically. So I just needed paper. to actually build them on paper, and then I'll finish the rest of oh, the kill team and put it up. There's an yep. app. There's a kill team app. Nice. Yeah, oh, I, nice. I looked at question. it. So. Yeah. What are your preferred gaming platforms, if any? Or is PC Master Race? <laughs> I like PS4 and PC. Xbox. Xbox. Uh, PC, uh, PS4, and... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Table. <laughs> table. <laughs> that really should be yep. a table. table. That's our go. best table. <laughs> we love that console. Sorry, Sam. No, no. Yeah. It's PC, PC, PS4, and like the... Uh, 3DS actually. Oh, okay. Because I really like the... Th I like the 3D... I like the 3DS as a concept, not as... Um, practical use of the 3D aspect of it. Oh. There's no point to 3D. And yep. uh, and Mike was painting uh, his 3D print of the couple of the 13 uh, art that uh, Sam put together. Yeah. Uh, so really, it's a collaborative work. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm uh, what I thought. What I thought of the Disney the, the Disney Sony spat is it's two it's two companies that I could care less about. Yeah. Um, Fighting over more money than more money than either of them are really entitled to, or any of us um, will ever see, or, or any of us will ever lives. see in our lives, and they are harming the fan base who gave them that money by this argument. So it's the exact same thing I felt so, like during the fucking James Gunn debacle. Yeah, it's like, yeah, cause, yeah. Cause, oh, I can't wait till this gets fixed. And it got fixed because people are the people are on Disney side, and like Disney, uh, Disney is not the people who gave you Spider Man. Marvel are the people who gave you Spider Man. Yeah. Disney, Disney are the, the, the yeah. Disney just yeah. owns them. In fact, and, uh, here, I'm going to try and show something, but they keep talking. Uh, what yeah. is it? Uh, it's just, it's just, it's a bunch of, it's drama that doesn't need to happen, because yeah. the thing is, is that it, really what should happen is they should, they should be doing the 50-50 on all movies, mm. regardless now, because of the fact of how much, it's, how much Spider-Man is actually worth, right? Sony does not, it should not actually own the IP anymore, because of the fact that Spider-Man is over 50 years old. He should be going into public domain. To be fair, Disney's IP should also be going into public yeah, domain. Uh, the mouse no longer has things. You don't have a new Mickey Mouse movie. Yeah. There is no point, right? Why should Disney have the IP to Mickey Mouse when they don't do anything, anything with, Mickey, with Mouse? Mickey Mouse? Yeah. 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 Why? Merch. Uh, so that's why they keep releasing, or they keep making. Uh, beating the dead horse, yeah. more like uh, of uh, uh, Mickey Mouse cartoons. Yep. I'll because they on, have to yeah. renew the IP. Yeah. I'll show this on Discord. Hang on, hang on. These are all of the companies that Disney owns. Yeah, uh, do a do a Google search uh, to help yourself out yeah, there. Yeah, you'll find it. Um, look for an image like that and uh, get a high res. And, yeah, get a high res. Uh, These. This is one on. section of it. <laughs> that is one is. section of it. That is the Star Wars companies. That green circle, I'll point to it in a second when I zoom all the way back out. It is right there. Yeah. It is a it's Disney's it's Disney's The House collection. of Mouse. They have, the Mouse yeah. owns the vast majority of some of the most beloved IP now. Yeah. In history. And their revival process is such that it will make new products stagnant. Mm. And that's that's a major concern on a creative level. And the only thing that would stand out, because you you can't match a di same what you will about Disney, you can't match a Disney polish. Yeah, yeah. This that, that's see, uh, see what but also uh, Disney is not the happy-go-lucky place where dreams are made. Oh company, no, they're the IP-consuming megalith yeah. uh, that uh, people make them out to be. You know, the, uh, <clears throat> Disney parks is a small part of the horrid conglomerate that is Disney mega yes. corporation yeah. trust. That uh, they uh, they claim they are not. Yeah. Um, and uh, oh, I love this brush clear. Oh yeah, my, mine's great too. I love that brush. Yeah. But um, we keep going because we like their stuff and it's good. How long is the stream going till? Oh, we're just wrapping up. We're just wrapping up and, yep. and answering final questions. Yeah. Yep, yep. 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 Then we got to pack up. I've got to do the last audio poll. Put that up on. The, put those two up on the Patreon. Yep. Dominic has to come here, so yep. I'm gonna leave.
and then uh, sort out dinner if we're doing it on the way up. Yep. Or if we're doing it while we when we get there. Where are you, where are you guys going? Uh, we're going up to my cottage because we're going to go down oh, to cool. Sega. Uh, yeah. I'm on the, oh, shit. Okay. All right. Cool. So, But we figured it might be easier to go up tonight and then drive down to right. Sega yeah. rather than drive up to Wasega. Sorry. So, the, so is it just the, two, is just the two of you going to Wasega or is a group of people going it's to Wasega? Oh, cool. We, uh, we put, us we three made plus Dumb and Beth. Yeah, we made an entire thing on Facebook. but You were invited. Like, no, it's, it, that, 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 uh, your Wasega thing? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I don't recall seeing anything like that, but I'm blind. Sure, right? No, I'm not an idiot. It's okay, my dude. So, it's okay. Oh no, no, no! It's it's the, this that I, Vanessa and I were, were booked up for the least the next the last three weekends, including next weekend. We're going to a cottage anyway, so yeah, oh, we, figured, it's fine. we figured that was so. probably going to be the case. So yep. we're just like, you know what? This we're not we're not what upset are your about that. Yeah, and, uh, yes, ducks of ducks. They're assholes. Uh, in general, or of uh, the show, because I I. I binge watch all the way through uh, the Duck freaking Ducktales. Are you are you caught up? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the last episode was uh, the uh, the dark uh, the duck duck Duckling rises. Duck. Yeah, the dark the Duck Knight rises. Yeah, that's such a shot at the fucking Batman. I mean, episode. holy crap! God, they just fired both barrels, and you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't know you were allowed to make fun of the Nolan films. <laughs> Darker, edgier. Wait, Darkwing Duck doesn't hurt people? <laughs> now he does. Now he does. <laughs> Geese are assholes, ducks are fine. <laughs> yep. Depends on the duck. Mallards are apparently waddling nightmares. <laughs> duck is delicious, Jordan. It's Ducks just very right. hard to cook. Yeah, it's a very fatty uh, meat. Yes. And like, it's cute you think that was, a, that was a joke question, Rusty. Go ahead and ask other joke questions. We'll yeah. still answer them. We'll have opinions. We we'll have opinions. opinions. Yeah. Weird shit. Yep. Oh, also, I think the glue is working on the T Rex, but I'm oh, gonna leave it off of the. Yeah, yeah. It's Good. Just leave her alone. Don't, 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 don't it's fuck it. Don't it. No! 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 Oh, that's supposed to happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Drama. What are you doing? We have to it's manufacture. my stuff. We get a bitter, bigger hit from views if we manufacture drama. <laughs> like and the trip I and had with Devin. <laughs> <laughs> it's that easy! <laughs> it doesn't work anymore, guys. You need to have a full-on porn, porn empire for it to incur drama. Oh, did you pay attention? There you go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, it's just I just just remembering. It's just like oh, when I was showing when I was showing oh, everybody shit. my sad Olivia picture, and then Dave, and, and then Devin goes like, "Why does she look so morose?" And I go, "Well, her husband should t just died." And then Dave goes, "Who is this man?" <laughs> <laughs> and then Mike goes, "Manic." And then she and then he goes, "Chad." <laughs> yeah. I'm pulling out full cat book here. <laughs> It was an absolutely lovely piece, but it was, yeah. it was set up. Shit! Who is this man? And there was set up that I couldn't it. ignore. Thank you for coming out, guys. Uh, thank, thank you, much. everybody. Thank you. Uh, what is we'll the week before stream? A uh, week before stream will be on September eighth. It will be myself, Jordan, and Doctor Terawad playing and space engineers. Oh wait, no. Oh, oh, oh you shit! That. Yeah, <laughs> Spen engineers. Spen yeah, engineers. That. Yeah, because I can't. I can't. What's it going on sale again? I have to go to sleep. It I want it for a week. Oh, no, shit. for yeah. My, my entire <laughs> goal, and don't tell Terawad this, is to, yeah. the to straight out oh, okay. in the middle of space. Yes. Just be like, dude, go outside and fix the ship. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 Where'd you go? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fly back! My uh -huh. beacon's on! Come and get me. Shit. <laughs> oh, did you guys hear that uh, 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 Kerbal Space Program 2 is coming out? Yeah. I haven't, played, I haven't bought Kerbal Space Program 1. The price will drop! <laughs> <laughs> oh. $300? Fuck. Anyway, no, just we should call it a night. Yep. Alright, folks, thank you very much for coming out. See you next time. Folks. It was lovely see you next time on Craft Check. We will post and, pictures uh, of the kill team. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, mine's mostly going to be built, less than painted, but uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I'm, I'm working on uh, my skills at painting. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, yep. we'll see y'all next time. See you next time. Bye. Craft World Edge Lord signing off. Bye. <laughs>